everybody. God, I can already feel the southern creeping in. This is a problem. <sighs> All right. Um, hello, welcome to my stream. I see I have two viewers. I suspect one of them is just the computer, but that's okay. If you're here, hop in the chat and say hello to me. We have Mima with me if you want to say hello. Um, I don't, I'm hoping everyone can hear you. They should be able to. Um, I guess they'll tell us. Ah, Kriana, hello! I've missed you. She's, she, she's been here since the beginning. Um, and she's helped do, like, modding the chat. But she's been away for a couple of weeks. And I've missed her. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I can see this person. Can you see it now? Good. Yeah, I know. I hope you've been doing it right, Kriana. Can you hear Mima? Do you want me to call you Mima or your name? Up to you. Mima? Okay. Like to do, yeah, people's Twitch names. Like I know Kriana's name, but I try really hard not to use it. <laughs> Just to respect her privacy and whatever. You know what I also didn't do? Turn on the lights. Hold on. And it also takes ages for people in chat to respond often. So, um, yeah, if you can just let me know, Kriana, if you can hear Mima, that would be really helpful. Um, anytime, whenever you're ready. Eventually. Well, and I'll say this. Um, there's a lag in your, for me, a lag between, it's kind of like watching a Kung Fu movie. Yeah, I, yeah, I was a bit worried about that. Um, but that's, that's alright, I can hear you. Yeah. So I just need to know that what you're doing on my screen is, is a little slower. A little slower. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little worried about that, but I can't really fix it, so I was just like, eh, no, it'll be what right. it is. It's okay. I just realized it, and now that just means that I need to, I'm, I might say, hey, we need to do this. And it'll just take a minute. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, now you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Even though I'll have told you that I'm doing it, but yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> and the chat showing up, like, because the chat, I have, like, a separate chat box, and it comes up immediately as soon as someone pushes send in my chat box, and then it takes a bit to come up on the stream, so it's, like, yeah, confusing. It's 2021. You'd think Elon or somebody get this mess together. Right? Exactly. Come on. These are fixable things. All right. That's all right. Just, you know. Do what you can, Kriana. No pressure. Oh, God. Hey, Kriana, can you hear me? I don't know. I'm a little worried that she can't. Hmm. My microphone registers your voice. Ah, yes. Can you hear him? Yay! She can hear you. <laughs> well, good deal. I just yeah. saw her say hello. Hello. How you doing, Kriana? Yeah. I'm very excited. Where is, where is Kriana? She's in Melbourne with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah, I he might be quieter. Question. Sorry, what was that? I said I had a question. Yeah? How the heck did you ever get where you're at? Why aren't you... you from somewhere over here. I am, yeah. Originally, I'm from Minnesota. Um, yes. Yeah, I, when I was 12... Yeah, 12. My dad called a family meeting and sat us down and was like, so, do you want to move to Australia? We're like, maybe, why? And he was like, well, I applied for a job in Australia as a joke, and they've offered me the position and have offered to pay to move us. So we did. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was kind of random but it was good yeah I like it here so I'm happy happy we moved uh, yeah. my husband wants desperately to come to New Zealand he's been talking about it for years New Zealand is beautiful well he wants to go so I reckon when all this COVID mess is over we will come over there sometime you should it's lovely I've only been to one of the islands and I don't remember which one but it was nice it was really pretty Honey, I I don't know nothing about it. They got big bugs. That's all I know. I don't know how big the bugs in New Zealand are. I I've looked it up. They're big. They're bigger than I want to deal with. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. South Island. Okay. 
I think I was on the North Island. Now I know silent. South Island is magical. Got it. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure we were on the North Island. But that's alright. We stayed in a Hobbit house. That was fun. And we oh, went... God, it, he'd lose his mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool. Um, and we went blackwater rafting, and I don't recommend doing that if you don't like bugs, because there are certain parts where they're like, okay, you have to turn off your headlamp, because if it's on, these face-sized cave bugs will jump on them. Okay, I don't mind a bug. I'm not scared of just a, a, a camp and, and a backpack. That's not a big deal. Yeah. I've got stuff over there that I ain't never seen before. <laughs> We do. Mm. And uh, I've seen your spiders in Australia. I've seen them online. Yeah, they're big. Um, Some I'm of them. I'm not scared of spiders, but um, uh, when they're as big as you, your car, no. I mean, we haven't got that big, but they do get really big. I, I actually like spiders as long as they're not on me. Um, but the big ones do freak me out a little bit, especially because they'll often be like on or in your car and you won't know until you're driving that worries me a bit yeah and the face and i don't mind like i actually really like bugs but the face hugger bugs were yeah not my cup of tea i did not did not want them on my face i was i was hard pass for me on that one mm -hmm. i reckon i should have warned you i will hijack anything that i'm involved in so that's not what we're doing here today no that's all right i was giving time for people to come if they wanted to anyway so Please take your stream over anytime you feel like it. Please. That's fine. I have ADHD, so my stream wanders anyway. Um, I think I'm last certain. time we talked about marine biology for ages. <laughs> I'm certain I've never been diagnosed with that. Um, <laughs> not officially. Yeah. Unofficially? Maybe? I diagnose everyone with ADHD, though. It's a bit of a problem. Um... Uh, uh, I'm certain there's no there's no doubt there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Just not sure if it's that. Okay. <laughs> I'm awake at two forty in the morning talking to a woman across the world about how to make cornbread. We have already established there is something wrong with me. <laughs> I I very much appreciate it though. <laughs> well, I'm having a blast. <laughs> oh good. I'm glad. You you you're quite welcome. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I feel that. Unofficially, I, yeah. I, I officially have ADHD, but I feel that. Unofficially. It was unofficial bleh, for years. And my, it's been bad today. My brain has not been engaged all day. So if I take forever to do anything, just <laughs> tell me off. Um, I don't know. Uh, 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 I'm moving too slow to be able to do film. <laughs> Fair enough. That's all right. Um, I, I'm going to be surprised if I... I I could normally, I could go in there in my kitchen right now. I could do what we're about to do. I could do it from memory. Mm -hmm. It's all it's all built in the muscle. It's not a problem. Nice. That's helpful. But I, I can't see real well at the moment. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too tired. Fair enough. I, um. I, I'm about, I have little slit surprise right now. I'm <laughs> quite large. <laughs> oh, dear. Um. I don't feel like coffee helps with that either, so. No, I'm drinking, um, I, I took a Yeti of uh, sweet tea to bed. You took a what? I, I, I'm sorry, um, a, a Yeti, an insulated cup. Oh, okay, Ye okay. Ye 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 Yeti is a name brand. Ah, yes, I forget that Americans have this tendency to use the brand instead of the name. Yes, we, yeah. we uh, it, it's, everything's a Kleenex, everything's a Coke, everything's a Band-Aid. I know, I got mocked for that so hard when I first moved over here. They're like, it's not a band-aid, it's a plaster. Okay. Fine, you know what I meant. I, I don't I, Pardon me for a minute. Sorry, bitch. Right? Exactly. They're swearing on this show, it's fine. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, well like so Kriana's just said glad wrap and band-aid are used though. But like when I first moved over, for whatever reason, like not as much. And since I've been here, it's, like, picked up. So they will say Glad Wrap and Band-Aid a lot more now. But when I first moved here, it was like, it's plastic wrap and plasters. But yeah, tissues are tissues. Not Kleenex. I've even gotten out of the habit of saying Kleenex. But I went to the pub, um, or the bar. It's gonna be really confusing. 
last night and I asked for a serviette and they didn't give me a weird, no, I didn't. I asked for a napkin. God, I asked for a napkin and they didn't give me a weird look and they knew what I meant, which in the past would not have happened. So. What the hell they call a napkin? Serviettes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, I, I, this is about learning. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to make fun of people. That's not it. Um, I'm, I'm fairly well educated. I might not sound like it, but I am. Um, and um, I, I have been places. Mm -hmm. I, I've left the house a few times. A few um, times, yep. But I just am curious about the... No, it's interesting, for sure. And I, I genuinely have no idea why they say serviettes. Some of the other ones I understand, but serviettes I don't, I don't get. At all. But, yeah, I don't know. It's a fun place. I'm going to say this right now. There ain't a person in my country at the moment that's got a leg to stand on about nothing. So, <laughs> we not fixed and talk about making fun of folks and the way they do things because we idiots. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm really happy I don't live in America anymore. So, oh, child, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really am. Like, I'm I've, I'm a citizen of both countries, and my kids technically have Amer a, the possibility of being American citizens, and I've just never signed them up. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, don't yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, let's make cornbread. So, I've printed off the, the thing you sent me. Um, but do you... Yeah, we'll call it a recipe. Um, but do you want to walk me through it rather than me reading the steps? Or it would be... Let's do this. I think it wouldn't have hurt if you read it. Yeah, fair enough. And, uh, because I think it's, you know, it, it is a recipe. Yeah. In, uh, in, uh, by definition, it is. Yeah. Uh, then we can, like, explain. Yeah, that sounds good. So... We need pardon, pardon me for just a second, because I need to cough, and I don't want to do it here. Oh, that's fine. <coughs> pardon me, go ahead, sir. That's okay. I did a whole episode with a really bad cough, and it was it was, it was was bad, so I feel that. Episode? I don't know. Um, all right, so step one is preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, which I have already converted to 218, so. Thank you, because I was wondering about that. Yeah, no, I checked it. Literally... 10, 10 minutes before I called you, but shh. I'm very prepared. Absolutely prepared. Um, so 220 degrees Celsius. So I'll just do that. Oh, do I need to put the skillet in or? Yeah, so here's the thing. If it's on 225 right now, and you and if that's, it was 225 you said? Celsius? 220, but that's all right. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm no, you're sure. fine. But I had the 425 in my head. Yeah. Um, go ahead then if that's the case, because you do, while it's preheating it is really when you want to do this, but it's okay. Okay. Um, it's not on yet. I haven't turned it on yet. I just wasn't sure if I needed to put the pan in and then turn it on. Perfection. Here's the, here's the step to this. Mm -hmm. right. You want to put your oil in your pan. Yep. Yeah. And put it, in a, put it in a cold oven. And then turn and the then oven turn on. Your oven up. Cool. Okay. All right. Now, now, we'll move a little slower through this, obviously, mm -hmm. because of what we're doing. Mm hmm but in theory, this is what you would do normally. You would put the oil in the pan, put it in the cold oven, turn the oven on. Because by the time you mix that thing up, It'll be warm. most people's ovens are going to be preheated. Yeah, and it should be. I will typically wait about how long it takes to preheat before I start mixing the thing up. Okay, well we can and do I'll that too. That, then I will leave that pan in there Yeah. while I mix everything up because it takes just a few minutes to mix this up. Yeah, okay, well, well maybe we'll talk about grits while it warms up, because <laughs> I do want to talk about grits. So, exactly. I'll get the, and I actually think I've seasoned, like, the pan looks really pretty, which is my interpretation of I've seasoned it correctly, so hopefully. Show me, show me, show me. I'm getting it. Got it. I'm genuinely so in love with this pan, like, it's beautiful. And it's got, like, a really pretty V? I think it's a V. Can you see it? Yes, I see it's a little, it's shiny. Okay, flip, flip me back over. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look, that is beautiful. Yeah. 
And it says Victoria, which is the state that I'm in, so it feels... Oh, child, if you see something pain, because it is nice and ready. Yes! Wow. So glad. I, yeah, like, I pulled it out of the oven. Like, I finished... So I, I did it a couple times, like the instructions said. And I pulled it out of the oven today, because I did the last time today. And I was like, it looks gorgeous. This must be right, right? Like, this is... This is... That's how you know, right? I don't know. But I like it. I think it looks shiny and, like, just gorgeous. Get out of here. Great. So, perfect. For anyone who doesn't know how to season a cast iron pan, um, you have to get an oil that is high smoke point and has not got just saturated fats. So it has to have saturated and unsaturated fats. Um, and you heat up the pan so it's a little bit warm. And then you rub a tiny bit of oil into it, not too much or it gets sticky apparently. And then all over, including the bottom and the sides and the handle. And then you put it in the oven as hot as your oven will go for an hour. And then you turn it off and you leave it in the oven until it gets cold. And I did that twice. Um, but you should do it three times, apparently. But I thought it looked all right, so twice, twice is going to have to do it. Try, try something in there. I mean, that, yeah. that would generally do it. Yeah, I reckon. Um, it said twice, but if you can, three times. And I was like, well, I can't. So twice is going to do it. Um, you think it's going to more than it. Yes. It might end up with a hot spot, what, what they call a hot spot, where, where one spotty pan might not be quite a season and your bread could stick. Okay. You know what? It happens. Yeah. It's, well, my, my pan, you saw my pan. Yeah. <laughs> you saw how slick that pan was. I've had that pan for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. I developed a hot spot in it probably about a year, maybe a year or two ago. I don't know why. It, it developed a hot spot. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure somebody rinsed it. Um, oh no! <laughs> yeah, they didn't well, wash point it, fingers. But they rinsed it. Um, yes, we won't. Um, but uh, <laughs> and, and it took me a little bit to get that hot spot out of that pan. Oh, fair enough. I will try and to every time that. I would make bread. It was thick in oh. one spot, and the crust would come off. So, you know, whatever. But we won't worry about that. I see you got your oil ahead. Yes. So, and I've also just been asked who I'm talking with. So, um, I just noticed more people have joined us. Uh, welcome to the stream. Today we are making cornbread and I have with me Mima, uh, who lives in Georgia and he's teaching me how to make Southern style cornbread, which I'm really, really, really excited about. So that other voice you hear is Mima and he's currently in Georgia and it's what, 2, 2.50 a.m.? It is 2.50 a.m. in Georgia. We are just about north. Northwest of Atlanta, about 50 miles. Nice. Howdy, y'all. Hi. <laughs> yes, so that's who I'm talking to, and he is fantastic and teaching me how to make cornbread. So, yeah. Um, how are you? Thank you for joining the stream. We're going to make the cornbread now. <laughs> um, the recipe that Mima sent me said vegetable oil, but apparently I've been told peanut oil will do because that's what I have. Well, peanut, I mean, it's a, a legume, yes. But, yeah. You know. It'll it, count. It counts. Listen, we're not getting picky. <laughs> Apparently, it just needs to have a high smoke point, so this will do. If you had Crisco, or shortening, sorry, yeah. to everybody else, uh, or you had lard, for God's sake, it would work. I have butter, but we'll go with, we'll go with peanut oil. I would, not, would not use butter. Butter will burn. Yeah, burn. that's what I was thinking, too, is that it's probably not a high smoke lard, point enough. Lard or... Is the best. All right. Well, yeah. we'll give it a go. Should should be delicious. Um. So how much? Just like a bit or a lot? Okay. So, <laughs> what does my recipe say? About a half inch or something like that? Uh. Yes, a half inch. Yeah, um. So a half inch in, in your pan. Now, <laughs> everybody's gonna go what? <laughs> yeah. A half inch is a lot. So am I filling the whole pan to a half inch? Yeah. I, I know what I know what I just said. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you. This is one of those things that this is the way Southern people in America, well, <laughs> Southern grandmothers cook. Okay. It just that's how it is. All right. This is this is a side thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to tell you until, until it's poured. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Beast but, Car is just asking why the skillet needs seasoning. It makes it non-stick, right? 
Yeah, so so the cornbread won't stick to the pan, essentially. Any, honestly, um, I'll explain this if it's all right. Yeah, go for it. There is a, the, the, the steps to seasoning the pan, the reason we're seasoning the pan, it, and it isn't just, it is to create a non-stick surface. Yeah. Um, on your cast iron. But, and, and not just for bread, but any. Stand by. Hi. All right. So that's, it's blue again. Can you hear me? Awesome. I can hear you just fine. I moved, I should have not done this, but I moved because they were saying that your voice was really quiet. I decided I'd move the microphone closer to the computer um, so I could hear you better. And I don't know what I did. I broke it, but it's fixed now. So it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If my voice is quieter, let's do this. I have a... Uh, hold on. I might could turn my microphone up. Just give me a minute. That might be good. What part of the seasoning explanation did you hear, guys? The whole thing? A bit of it? The start? Nothing? Yeah, y'all anyway? tell me. Yeah, we'll get there. It's just, just the start. Okay, so maybe just start over. <laughs> sorry. My bad. Well, I, I just wanted people to well, hear you. Right. No, and that's good. I just, what I want to do is be able to turn up what I'm doing here. Is Mima's sound any better, guys, since I moved the mic, or is it the same? Still quiet. And welcome to the chat. If you've just joined us, we're making cornbread, and I'm talking to my friend from Georgia who's walking me through the steps. Very kindly at 2.30 in the morning for him. Almost 3 in the morning. It is improved. Okay. So, I mean, if you, if you can't figure out the microphone, it's at least better. Well, I've also moved it to close a little closer to my mouth, nice. I think. So, um, is that better for y'all? It's better for me, definitely, so I think it will be better for them. Okay, rock and roll. Nice. All right, do you want to explain the seasoning thing again? Okay, we, we were going back to the seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, I will just get back. So anyway, the whole point of the seasoning of a, of a skillet is to get the nonstick surface. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you will have one bread pan. Yeah. You never use it for nothing else. Yeah. Okay. Um, any southern grandmother would tell you that you, you will have another skillet. You will cook anything you want to in that skillet. Mm -hmm. But this you is the bread pan. You will also obviously want to be seasoned because you will want the nonstick property of that. Mm -hmm. um, there's a really loud car going down the road. Yeah, um, sorry, I'm just going to shut the window so it's less loud. No, it's fine. <laughs> It ain't going down the road here. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's the middle of night. Um, <laughs> anyhow, so, uh, but anyway, I, I lost my train of thought. With so, it. basically, um, it keeps it from sticking. Um, yes, it, it's the nonstick property that you want. That's why yeah. you season it. And my housemate was like, oh, you've seasoned it now. Can we cook bacon in it? And I was like, don't you dare. No, not <laughs> in that pan. You won't. No, that's what I said. I said, you can use my other skillet, but this one's for bread. Only bread. That is correct. And once you get them good, the more you cook with them, they get better. Better, better they'll be. And yeah. then once you, um, uh, you got one you cook and bacon and stuff in and that sort of thing, um, you'll end up, uh, you'll be able to throw a, a like fried egg in it. Oh yeah. It'll just, it'll skate across. It'll just be like the best nonstick you ever had. That does sound amazing. And I like, I actually, I've never cooked with this pan. I bought it specifically for this stream, but I kind of love it, so I'm really tempted to just go buy a couple more and have them be the only pans I use, but it was kind of expensive too, so I might not. All right, let's pour well, the oil in. So half an inch, you say. I'm just going to pour. You tell me when to stop, yeah? Okay, and I'm going to tell you right now, it, it's a little, I'm looking at the smaller, you know, you smaller. Oh, I can swap it's a it. It's hard for me to see, but um, Better? you can go ahead and, I, I can see in there.
Oh, and you said it was delayed, ah, too. Look so. at that. That's much better. <laughs> I'm going to pour a bit, and then I'm going to wait for you to confirm. So you it's, actually but it's, have Crisco-branded oil. Yes, I would notice that before, too. We were talking about how they don't have Crisco here, which is vegetable shortening. Um, but funny. this is Crisco brand. So, so yes, you want it to cover the whole bottom of the pan? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Fill that pan up. Okay, I'll fill it up, and then you will wait a couple seconds for the it to go through, and then you can tell me if that's enough. Can you see? Do I need to... Oh, no, you're doing fine. Keep going. I didn't tell you to quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was worried that if it's, like, delayed, okay. then I'd put too much. Okay, do me a favor. Will, will you, because it's black yeah. um, and the oil is clear, can you tip the pan? Can you tilt it? Mm-hmm. Can you tilt it toward the camera? Toward the camera? Yeah. Yeah, I need to be able to see the level. Okay. I can see what's in there. Um, I think you can see the reflection stuff. of the camera. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to see it. I'm trying to gauge. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like you probably got enough. Okay. Um, it's hard. It, it, <clears throat> again, it's a little difficult for me to see. Yeah, but fair I, enough. It, I looks can like, it looks like there's enough in there from what I can tell. Yeah, alrighty. You got, you got a good coating in there. In there. It's, yeah. Okay. We'll go with it. I can't tell if, I can't tell if it's quite half an inch. but I don't think it is, so I can put more if you think it might be a little on the low side. Just because I'm not there and I can't quite tell, mm -hmm. and I would rather err on the side of caution, because here's the thing. The only thing that's going to happen, the only difference that would make mm -hmm. is your crust will have, it'll be just a little bit greasier. Yeah. You know what? We're in the South. I am. <laughs> our, our diet is grease. Yeah. Um, so that's stereotype, but it is the truth. Um, and when it's the truth, I just, I don't worry about it. No it's worries. Mm -hmm. uh, pour, pour, I, I would say just give it another glove, just one quick glug. Okay. You know, I don't know, like a shot. Yeah, I did. I did. Um, I thought I might have. That's plenty. That's plenty. I, no. You're you're delayed on me, so yeah. I, I, I just I just saw your glug. Yeah, I was waiting for waiting for it to catch up and wondering if I had anything that had inches on it, but I don't think I do. <laughs> it's fine. That should be good. So why are we uh, filling it with oil? Is it gonna like fry the sides? So what's gonna happen? This is the this is the fun part. Mm -hmm. Um. When you put that in the oven here while it's preheating, it's going to heat that oil. Okay. And then, then once your oven beeps or whatever to tell you that it's preheated, and then you start mixing your batter at that point, because mm -hmm. it takes about, I don't know, less than five minutes to mix up the batter, you're going to pull that hot skillet out, and that oil is going to be screaming. Yeah. All right? You dump your batter into that, it is immediately going to start frying. Yeah, okay, so it is going to, like, fry it. That's that's what I thought, so that's exciting. You don't spread the batter out. Let it spread on its own. Okay, okay, good Pop to know. maybe back in the oven to yeah. bake. Yeah. It's going to give you the best crust. All right, I'm excited. And to, to me, there ain't nothing better about cornbread but that outside crust. I don't even care about the rest of the bread. I want that crunchy crust off the bottom. That's true, yeah. But to me, that's the delicacy. <laughs> now, you know, eat the bread, of course. I love, I love bread. The it's bread's no fine. Yeah. See, butter on it's wonderful. It's great. But that crust is what you're going for. And if that pan and that oil is not screaming hot when you dump that batter in it, it won't do. It'll just okay. get greasy. Okay. Good to know. So we want it to basically fry. So I'm going to put this in the oven um, and then turn the oven on to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius. That's right. And then we're going to sit here and talk for a minute. <laughs> I don't know what that was because I didn't see it yet. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, the question. The, the crash. Oh, that was my pan going in the oven. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just rough. Um, I yes. just laughed because, I, again, everything's on about a maybe... A delay. 10, 15 second delay at most, I guess. Yeah. One day I want to have, like, another camera that I can, like, set up so you can see the oven, but we're not there yet. Um, That's all right. We, we're doing fine. <laughs> so to answer your question, Beast Car... Um, yeah, I've been here since I was 12, basically. I think that's been about, oh, I can't math today. Um, like, I don't know. I moved here in 2005. You do the math. I don't want to math today. I am smart, and I have an accounting degree, but I can't today. 
I'm gonna get a calculator. Uh, 17. Seventeen. Thank you, Kriana. Oh gosh, my brain was just like, no, I will not add or subtract anything. Hey, I don't math either, and I could do seventeen at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> nice. Well done. Yeah, <laughs> my brain just refused. I don't know. It does that sometimes. Um, I used. I used my fingers. Nice. I didn't think about that. <laughs> that's, that that's how I, that, what did the British, the British say maths. That's how I mathed. Yeah. Yeah. That confused me so much when we first moved over here, moved over here. I was always like, oh, we're going to do math now. And everyone's like, it's maths. I'm like, but why? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, my internet connection loves me because you keep uh, freezing, but I'm glad, I guess you can still hear me. So. Yeah, I can hear you fine, which is good. Good. I, as long as you, uh, I think I'm gonna turn the uh, Wi-Fi off on my. Actually, I think I'm just gonna turn my cell phone off. Okay. Whatever works. Because, well, I'm just trying to not suck up so much juice. I told you we live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, fair enough. So I really want to know about grits. For anybody who doesn't know, grits is a thing that they eat in the South for breakfast. I want to say. I don't know. Yeah, I, bre breakfast mostly, but but yeah. depends on. Uh, uh, Shrimp and grits is a is a common thing, uh, especially like in Louisiana. Okay. And down on, down on the coast, mm -hmm. um, shrimp and grits is big, more prominent. Okay. But um, but we eat a lot of cheese grits up here. Oh, okay. So um, I'm pretty sure I had grits once, and I remember that I didn't like it, but I don't remember what it tasted like or felt like, and I don't understand. Is it corn or what is it? Grit ground corn it's exactly what you're fixing to make cornbread with, with okay no exception it is ground coarser ah i'm sorry let me be more coarse um <laughs> it's a it's a it's a coarser grind thing than uh, yeah what you're what you're about to do okay that's the whole thing with this it's, it's why corn was so important to the south agriculturally you know people talk about cotton mm -hmm. uh, talk about tobacco mm -hmm. corn Equally as important because you can so versatile. Oh yeah. Cornmeal, grits. You know, uh, mm -hmm. not only that, what uh, animal feed for sure. Yeah. Um, there's about 15 zillion varieties. Anyway, mm. I'm not going. I'm not fixing to get off on a history lesson of corn. Honestly, um, I grew up in Minnesota. We grow basically just corn. I know a lot about corn. Then, then you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I know too much about corn. I, I know enough that I've eaten it all my life, and I've been to Iowa, so <laughs> um, th that's my history of corn. But anyway. Okay, so it's it's a it's a coarser ground corn. But how? Do, so like we we're you were saying that polenta is basically grits, but when yeah, okay, so when we make polenta, it like it cubes up like it's like a solid like chunk it's more like bread but it's not bread but i i thought grits was like soggy you could make grits do that too if you cook them long enough okay oh okay so, so yeah so there is there is a difference yeah there is now this is where i start to get into these disagreements with um the, the, the celebrity chefs I see, the you know the folks I see on television, mm -hmm. and they're gonna say, "Well, polenta ain't grits." Let me mm -hmm. talk to you for a minute. <laughs> polenta is grits that they slap another name on so they can charge about five dollars more back for it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. Barely, polenta it's Italian is grits. style. Grits is polenta. That is my opinion. Your mileage may vary. I, that's just what I believe. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Because it could. It cooks up the same. Mm -hmm. it, it just is. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, and it's this is basically coarsely ground corn, um, so I believe you. Yeah. If you uh, if you if you looked at a, a box of what I call cheap grits, um, <clears throat> you know what you could buy here for literally like a dollar a box. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a specific brand I won't name, but um, because uh, it won't mean anything to nobody. About ninety nine cents, um, a box here. Mm -hmm. So you're talking a buck, um, and it stone ground grits. That's what it's gonna say. Stone ground grits. Okay. That's it. No, nothing special. No, no, no other qualifier. No, you know. Anyway, um, it's all in how you cook it. Mm. Yeah. 
That makes I mean, sense. Seriously, it's all, so, you know, you're going to go out to... I reckon y'all have to network there, don't you? Um, we have an equivalent. I just... Uh, well, you, you knew Alton Brown when I said his name. I mean... I, I didn't. Um, I Googled yeah. him. <laughs> well, you know, Alton's from Georgia. Okay. You know, and, and... But, you know, you're talking like... And I may be throwing out names you don't... People don't know. That's right. You're talking like... Uh, Bobby Flay or, you know, the folks who are popular here on, on the Food Network or the, the ce- celebrity chefs that are here. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, we have this culture here of the, quote, celebrity chef. And, you know, everybody's got a television show and it's all, um, what you call it, um, uh, it has a lot of money involved in it, let's just say that. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and, and they all want to talk about, you know, it's, we, we have a lot of food competition shows. Yeah. And, um, you know, they're fun, they're exciting, they're entertaining, whatever, but they always make a polenta. Yeah. And it just cracked me up because I'm thinking, but making grits. Mm-hmm. Making, making grits my whole life. I said, but, you know, you go to a fancy restaurant. And they make and it fancy. Ve- I was in Vegas and it was like, oh, you know, get this, whatever this dishes with a side of polenta. And I'm like, please, they're fixing to charge me $10 for grits. Um, <laughs> listen, I, I, I just, I don't suffer bullshit. Fair That's enough. That's just how it is. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. So, Beast, Beast Car has said Beast, that it's Beast, a... Beast Car is telling us what, what the... What, what the... History of it is, yeah. I'm reading... So basically, but yeah, from from what you've said, Beast Car, it is basically grits, but Italian grits. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure it's probably from a variety of corn that yeah. is different. Probably than slightly what I different. Would, would have gotten here. Yeah. But it's, you can fry grits. You absolutely can fry grits. Okay. You can grill. You can do all of those things. With it grits. It just depends on how long you cook them. Yeah. Um, there are some people here that will put sugar in their grits. I think that's crazy, but I've seen some other people do that. I don't get it. How do you eat your grits? Grits should have salt, black pepper, and butter. And okay. And you won't, cheddar cheese. Oh, yeah. So it's basically that's, corn porridge? If you want to call it that, um, I reckon it, that's about the, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this, about the consistency of chowder. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we're going to be making our cornbread the consistency of. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. You know, so they're, they're a little bit thicker, but yeah, it is, I guess it's porch like kind of like oatmeal, you know. Okay. Uh, so, but yeah, I mean, I've been eating grits my whole life. I love them. Now, my Yankee husband said I ain't eating nothing called a grit. <laughs> uh huh. Won't, won't go near them, but loves corn. Yeah, fair enough. So, so I guess it's just all in the way it, you know, what form it comes in. Mm. Or maybe growing up with it, like, I despise Vegemite, but um, the daycare center that my kids went to fed them Vegemite, like, almost every day. So my kids love Vegemite, and so I make my son's Vegemite crackers for his lunch every day and, like, gag while I'm making them, but he loves them. So maybe it's a raised with it thing, too. Yeah, cornmeal chowder (laughs) is grits. All right. Um, so, my oven is still not preheated. It's being a bit slow. Um, oh, it'll take a while. Mine takes about 15, 20 minutes. That, that yeah. Point. Mine does. Mine takes usually about 10, and I do not know how long ago I put it in. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, hey, let me ask you this. Did you pull it? Did you pull a meatball? Did you turn your oven on? <laughs> no, I did. I checked it. I yeah, panicked I've, a minute I've ago. I, I do that a lot. Um, that's yeah, my yeah. ADHD. The other day I was cooking dinner. And was like, these vegetables are not cooking. I don't understand why this is taking so long. And then I looked and the stove wasn't on. Um, yeah, that helps. It does, generally. Yeah, usually. Mm. Um, but no, I checked it. The oven is on. <laughs> and it's about halfway. So we're getting there, for sure. Um, well, no worries. I'm, I'm glad to sit here and ramble on about nothing as long as you want to. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying learning about grits. Um, honestly. How do you make grits? Is it the same way you'd make like porridge? Do you just boil it? Some some people will make them with with milk um, to make them creamier. I make I make mine with water. Okay. Most people most people just for out of convenience sake are gonna make um, some form of uh, I, 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 instant grits, but I don't really want to call them that because there is a thing called instant grits that are ready the minute you pour boiling water on them. 
but oh. um, uh, you know that's a that, that's a cop out to me. Um, <laughs> mm, I feel that way about what, porridge. We, right, we make what we call quick grits because mm-hmm. they're they're partially cooked, kind of like quick oatmeal. You know, with the the, the five minute oatmeal. Mm-hmm. Um, we still got to cook it on the stove, but um, uh, it's not instant. Yeah. Uh, so that, most of us do quick grits because we're not going to sit there for 40 minutes to stir grits. We, yeah. Doing that. That's a long um, time. <laughs> I mean, not even me. I'm not doing that. That's the, that's the thing with polenta. You know, a lot of people, you've got to cook polenta. Uh, mm. um, but anyhow, uh, but, but I use water. I don't typically put milk in mine. Um, it's usually a... a a cup of a liquid to a half cup ratio of, of um, grits. Okay. Typically, typically, um, kind of the same as oatmeal. Okay. Hmm. Um, Fair enough. And then you just you just cook you boil them until the you basically boil the water out until the slowly not you know but it usually click like with the quick cook grits it's about five minutes or so. Okay. Sometimes ten, sometimes ten. Um, I put a little salt in the water to mm-hmm. start with, and when they're cooked. Um, They'll soften, and then, uh, you know, they still have a texture. Mm-hmm. They're not mush. You don't want them to be mush. They still have a texture, kind of somewhat grainy, but yeah. not, it's not unpleasant. Okay. Um, so maybe I just then, had bad grits. <laughs> well, it, it, listen, it depends on who made them, because I'm going to tell you, there's some people that'll screw up with some grits. I mean, you, you can, trust me, I, I've, I'm in the South, and I've had bad grits. I think so, it was, like, from Denny's, but not in, like, a southern state. It was, like, well, I don't know, Iowa. I've been to, I've been to Waffle House. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of a Waffle House, but they're all over the south. They're very prominent. They're, uh, it's what people, you know, it's a diner. I've heard of it. Um, it's a chain. It's a diner. It's been around since the 50s. It started here in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, but extremely popular. They have delicious food. But... Okay. I've had bad I've had bad grits in one of their restaurants, and they're pretty well streamlined. Yeah, but true. It just depends on who made them. That's I mean, true. Yeah. So I mean, truly, it's just you, you can cook them too long, and they turn into paste. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> oh, see, Kriana knows, knows about a Waffle House. I've heard of it. I've just never been. Well, child, you're missing out. <laughs> you, if you if you ever get back to the states, you need to let me know. I will. I definitely will. will. Because late night Waffle House is the place to be. Waffle House is open 24 hours even on Christmas. Nice. Nothing, almost, well, no, we, Kmart and McDonald's are now open 24 hours, but almost nothing is open 24 hours in Australia. We um, always laugh because we, we we wanted to know why the Waffle House had a lock on the door because they aren't closed. Yeah, why would you need to you lock know, it? <laughs> fun fact that I will interject on my random um, mm-hmm. craziness here. Uh, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, otherwise known as FEMA, yeah, uh, in America, a uh, government agency who handles natural disasters, they have what they call a Waffle House code. They judge the severity of a natural disaster um, in the areas where there are Waffle Houses. Based by on... if, the, if the Waffle House is still open. <laughs> that, that is that amazing. Is no, that is no lie. <laughs> FEMA has a Waffle House code. And they, is the Waffle House still open? That's how they judge it. That's amazing. I mean, that's a, you know that, that everything that thinks it's a joke. That's not an official thing, but they do. It is the is the Waffle House still open? How bad was the tornado? Yeah. How bad is the hurricane? Is Does the, the Waffle, Waffle House still open? <laughs> wow, that's dedication to waffles. Mind you, waffles are amazing, so I understand entirely. Um, well, it's just because the Waffle House truly is open twenty four hours a day, three hundred sixty five days a year. So that's. If, if the Waffle House is closed, we got a problem. <laughs> Fair enough. So, Mom, I'm not sure what your question is. Um, she oh, said, is Mama here? Yeah, so she said, my grandma made fried cornbread. Was it Johnny Cake? Had to be a cast iron skillet. Anyone here from Kentucky would know the name? Are you asking if... What are you asking Somebody, me? <laughs> she's, she's asking about the fried cornbread and was it a Johnny Cake? So, some people call them Johnny Cakes, some people call them Ho Cakes. Okay. Um, but it is the same thing, kind of like a, it's kind of like a cornbread pancake. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's so not cornbread, fried. it's a pan, more like a pancake. Yes, but it is, it's fried in oil on top of the stove. Oh, okay. I see. It's the same concept as what we're doing, slightly different. Yeah. Okay. Which, speaking of, my oven is preheated, so we can start. 
And what Rock is and cream of wheat grits? Oh, cream of wheat. Cream of wheat is not grits at all. Oh, okay. Cream of wheat is a completely different animal. It, <laughs> it is. Uh, um, it's a wheat-based product, not corn. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. It is also. Uh, think of porridge. Um, Apparently, I don't want to know what cream of wheat grits is. <laughs> <laughs> well, the people in the. Uh, I find that to be in the in the states anyway. I find that to be a a northern thing. Oh, okay. Where here in the south we would eat grits or we would eat oatmeal. Um, people in the north tended to eat cream of wheat. Now some people want to put sugar in it because it tends to lend itself. It's a hot cereal. Mm-hmm. I it actually feel like itself. I remember cream of wheat. Did we ever eat it, Mom? Cream of wheat. That feels like it's ringing a bell. I have lost your video. I need to try to reload it. Hold on a minute. That's all right. Oh, cream of wheat consistency grits, right? Oh, I don't know. well, that might, that makes sense. Yeah. Just a minute. Um, I gotta, I gotta reload your page. That's fine. Go ahead. I won't lose and your it, voice, so. Well, I hope I don't lose you. That's my problem. Oh, hopefully not. We'll see. If you do, we'll just fix it. Apparently, yeah. I did eat cream of wheat, chocolate flavored. Okay. Fair enough. I don't remember this at all, but that's fine. What were the Johnny Cakes good, Mom? That's what I would like to know. Probably, because my grandma's cooking was great. But I don't remember them, which is sad. Are you still with me, Mimo? I am. I can hear everything you're saying. I'm, Sweet. I'm focused on trying to figure out why I cannot load your video. Yeah, that's I can fine. Still, I can still see the chat, but you're... Um, my video browser encountered an error while decoding the video, and I don't know what that means, and the click here oh. to reload does not work, and the reload page does not work. Maybe just close it and reopen it. Okay, yeah, I forgot we're talking. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, because that, that won't close our chat. Yeah, I, I didn't think I, I... It's reloading now, so we're going to see. Nice. Uh, right. Because I'd like to go and see what you're doing. Yeah, because we are about to start the cornbread, and I've never actually made chowder, and I've only had it once. So saying chowder consistency doesn't really help me. <laughs> um, Thick soup. Yeah. So I'm going to need your help so with that. So we're coming back. I got you back now. Awesome. Fantastic. And apparently the Johnny cakes were delicious, which, yeah, doesn't surprise me because my grandma was a great cook, which I'm still waiting for her donut recipe, please. Family. Yeah, Mama. I heard the way you said that. <laughs> yeah. Where is the donut recipe I was promised? I know it's a stew, but I like, I only had it once in San Francisco in, when did I get married? 2013? So ages ago. Like ages. And I don't remember it. Anywho. You were the cutest thing. I love that you think nine years ago was ages. You were so adorable. <laughs> it uh, was for me. I was 20. That was... Oh, child. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a few months shy of 46 years old. Let me talk to you about how fast decades fly. <laughs> <laughs> my 20s 30, have dragged. The next, the next day I was 40, <laughs> and now I'm fixing to be 50. And I don't know where they went. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Literally, I do not know where the time has gone. Oh, no. I mean, well, I, I don't know. I'm about to turn 30, but it feels like I've been 20 for, like, fucking forever. And I'm tired okay. of it. I want to talk to you about something. This is real talk. Okay, okay I'm real listening. Real talk right now. Mm -hmm. you, you about to turn 30 years old. Mm -hmm. I want you to enjoy your 30s. I will. Because you you are going to wake up and go, where'd they go? Mm. And I'm not lying. <laughs> My mama used to tell me when I was a kid, she'd say, time moves so fast, the older you get. And I'd be like, woman, you are crazy. It is Christmas is never coming. Uh -huh. We're never going to see it again. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. My birthday seems like it was 40 years ago. What mm -hmm. are you talking about? Time does not move back. My mama was right. I've noticed it's gotten quicker as I've gotten older, but it still feels like it's taking forever. Wait. <laughs> I'm telling you, you think it's moving now. I, I don't. It is the stupidest thing in the world. I know I sound like some old person 
talking to some child, which I know I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not trying to condescend. No, nah, I didn't I feel like you were. Sounds. I'm telling you right now, enjoy every minute of your 30s because at 40 years old, somebody flips a switch and they don't tell you. <laughs> okay, thanks for the heads up. I genuinely... And shit starts falling apart. <laughs> I already... I, I honestly call I have several health conditions which I call premature old person disease so I'm worried <laughs> what it's gonna be like when I'm older but we'll see um so mom said that she's I'm 12 in her mind yeah I know Kriana made stew oh oh that sounds delicious do you have a recipe or do you just put a sweet potato in a can of tomato soup and make it because that sounds I need to eat that um, I, I am genuinely excited to turn 30. I am really sick of being in my 20s. I would like to be 30, which seems weird because I know so everyone else is like, oh, no, I'm 30. 30 was great. I mean, and, and well, there's that whole thing if you believe in astrology or whatever the thing is, and I don't know, but they, they, everybody talks about when you're 29 about Saturn return. Oh, and yeah, apparently. Whether, whether, you, whether you believe in that or not, I don't know. But if you're happy when you're, when you're 29 or 30, everybody says, you know, that's a good thing, and it kind of will set the tone for how your 30s are going to go. I mean, so. my my 29 year was a pandemic, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> um, cool. If you can message me what you remember, I really want to eat that soup because that sounds really good. And we should make cornbread because <laughs> we're getting real sidetracked. I told you I'd talk. <laughs> That's okay. I, I also talk. Have you seen me turn... A single cake into a three-hour stream. I do it every time I stream. All right, so I'm, I'm southern. It's what we do. <laughs> we need to combine cornmeal and egg. Yes. Yeah, so you want to put your cornmeal in your bowl first. Yep. Yep. I didn't just nearly throw it across the room. What are you talking about? I didn't see a thing. <laughs> okay, so I've never even opened it before. Oh, yes. Kind, All right. What kind did you end up with at the American Import Store? Yelton's. I ain't never heard of it. Don't know. Um, I just carry it. Yeah. Looks like corn mill to me. Lakeside Mills was founded in 1736 and has been... So it's Lakeside Mills, not Yelton's? That's confusing. I don't know. Sounds marvelous. South Rising Cornmeal, and that's all you wanted. Rutherford, NC. Okay. North Carolina? Yeah. So it's North well, Carolina okay. cornmeal, it's, but we're going to do it. It's southern. We're going we to be all right. Yeah, I am going to take some out to show you, because I was really curious. Yeah, I wing everything I make, too. Except, Well, not everything. I don't know. Depends on the day. So I was curious, like, really curious about the tif difference in textures. So, like, I got some polenta. And I've got the cornmeal and I've got some corn flour. My bag is like leaking or something. So we're gonna oh, we're gonna do this. You talking about your cornmeal is leaking? No, the polenta is leaking. Oh. So this is the polenta. Those, Can you? those cornmeal and flour bags like that are notorious for leaking. Oh, are they? Well, that's good to know. Yeah. I'll put it in a container. So this yeah, feels. Like, that's grits. <laughs> yeah. So this is polenta or grits. And it feels it. sharp, like it feels like sugar. Um, Super grainy. Yeah. It feels like what I imagine, like, tiny chunks of corn would feel like. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's real corn. Yeah, which I've never, I've made polenta, but I've never touched it like that. That was interesting. So then this is the cornmeal. Ah, oh, yeah. So it's, it's not as gritty. <laughs> um, cornmeal should feel like, um, like, uh, very light sand. Yeah, that is what it feels like, is, yeah, sand, sandy flour, almost. So a bit floury, exactly, yeah. but yep. still a bit coarse. Yeah, that, my, that is the polenta I have. It takes, yeah, I was looking before when you said it takes ages, and I think this is a fast polenta, because it only takes 20 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's a quick cook grit. Yes, so the polenta was 100% corn. This is not. That'll have some. It'll have some leavener in it. Yes. So it says it's enriched white cornmeal. White cornmeal, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. And then it's got a leavening agent, which is sodium bicarbonate, 
and monocalcium phosphate and sodium aluminum phosphate and salt. That would be your baking soda and your baking powder. Yeah. Um, and a bit of salt. So, yep. not totally corn, but a, mostly corn. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe you can't read the sides of them packages because it's going to tell you all that crap you don't want to be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just ignore it. But, yeah, no, it is still gluten-free. It says may contain wheat, um, but it's not in yeah. the ingredients. And then I have... <laughs> I'm sure there's some gluten in there somewhere because we're going to add stuff to stuff. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And so then I have corn flour, which is just like flour. But it, corn flour feels smoother than normal flour to me. Does anyone else feel that? Or is it just me being a weirdo? I, I've never even seen corn flour. I mean, really? I've, exists, but I've, I've heard of it. I've never bought it. I've never used it. I don't know what I would use it for. Well, I use it to make oobleck. Honestly, I also cook with it, but <laughs> to make what? Ublek. It's not something you eat. Uh, it's cooler than slime. It is a non-Newtonian fluid. So when you hit it, it goes hard, and when you pull it slowly, it's like runny, like water. Um. I think some of those words were English. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's fun. We should make some ublek, but not right now. So that's corn. Flour, which yes, you can use to thicken things. Um, it thickens corn things. Flour sounds a lot like um, uh, cornstarch. Probably. I mean, I can't imagine them being that different. Because um, we we thicken like if I thicken a soup or a stew with cornstarch. Yeah, so I would I would thicken this I thicken soups and stews with corn flour. Does it have a Does it have a um, Yeah. A feel, a feel to it that um, is um, Oh, it's kind of hard to describe because corn. Feels... It's like silky, right? Yes. Yeah. Very silky. And yeah. It's almost. Um, I hate to say this. It it, it feels like a uh, some some powdered makeup. No, it does. It really does. It feels feels like that. Like a like a like a compact. You know. Yeah. No, it does. It, Apparently, so yeah. uh, we're getting some confirmation in the chat that corn flour and cornstarch are the same. Cornstarch is what Americans call it. Yeah, and Dad okay. reckons it feels velvety. Velvety is a pretty good, yeah. velvety, a pretty good way to describe exactly, it. That's a very, very good word. Yeah, good call, Dad. <laughs> velvety is right. So, yeah, oh, thank yeah. you, Beast Car. A non-Newtonian fluid is a substance of homogeneous composition that undergoes continuous deformations in the time in which a stress or force is applied to it. Regardless of the magnitude of it, it is a substance that does not have its own shape and that adopts, of the, adopts that of the container that contains it. Yeah, so when you hit it, it goes hard, and when you run your fingers through it, it's a liquid. We'll make some. It'll be fine. But not right now. Right now we're making cornbread. I appreciate that. Um, very scientific. Yeah, um, that was great. It is, it's 3.30 in the morning. And, uh, <laughs> Bit hard to take hard. in. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to put 2.5 cups of self-raising cornmeal. Yeah, and y'all like to measure stuff. I know we're supposed to measure well with bacon. By like weight and stuff like that. Yeah, I usually do. Like I prefer weight, but I haven't converted it to weight, so we'll just do cups. Yeah, uh, in this instance. Now there are some things that when I bake, I, I will. We need to do it by weight. I understand that. Yeah. Um, but this is one of those things that is not necessary. Okay, and I should also say, uh, for the viewers, an, an American cup is not the same as everywhere else's cups same with teaspoons and tablespoons but i found that may i feel like moonshine would do the opposite um if you use the same type so if i'm making an american recipe and i'm using australian cups i just use them the same way and the, the ratios stay the same so it still works does that make sense or am i just talking nonsense Maybe I'm talking nonsense. I ignore well, the fact that the cups and the spoons are different, basically. Oh, your mom said I need some moonshine. To Apparently, wake but me. alcohol makes me tired, so I don't know what she's talking about. I, I don't drink alcohol anymore, but it would knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what Ublek is, and it is so much fun. So much fun. Love Ublek to bits. You are using a liquid measure, and yes. um, it's, we're totally fine. Um, 
there is this ongoing debate in my house about whether or not a dry measure and a liquid measure is the same thing. Um, and we laugh about it all the time because I always say, no, that's a liquid measure. Oh, my, okay. Well, I did my, it wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You did, you did not do it wrong because my, my husband is a um, microbiologist and he has um, uh, shown me the error of my ways and taken a dry measure cup and measured and poured it into a liquid measure and it is exactly the same thing. Nice. Um, oh good. That's reassuring. I, I laugh about it because I will still insist that it is not no matter <laughs> what somebody has shown me the proof. Fair um, enough. Yeah. Sometimes that's the way it is. Yeah. Um, yeah and, you, and your friend here, uh, Laura, uh, Laura, Laura, that's my mom. You can just call Laura. her mom. That's mama. Okay. Yeah. So mama has said that dry and liquid measures are different and she is correct. <laughs> I agree with that. Now, again, my scientist husband has told me that is not true. <laughs> but you just can't change beliefs like that. In, 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 in what we're doing, you are fine. Cool. Good to know. So, so, now I need to add an egg, right? Yes, but what we're going to do is we're going to get that egg, and we're going to crack it in a bowl. Yes. This is, this is that bacon thing. You don't ever crack an egg into what you're doing because you don't know when you're going to get a bad one. Yeah, well, that's what I was just trying to check, was if there's a best before date. 30th of March, we're still good. Because the other day I left my eggs for too long and it was real bad. Um, but I always do it into a measuring cup, usually, so. That's a smart move, because we're going to beat it a little bit, too. So. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll get my tiny whisk. I love my tiny whisk. Yeah, we, we, and we're not going to, you know, froth it up. We're just going to. No, just mix it. So I've cracked my egg into my cup. Okay. Yeah, you're behind because I'm, I'm watching you hold the egg carton. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, I really like that. Um, it's, it's not emoji in this. It, they call it something else, don't they, Kriana? That is an egghead. I know. It's cute. All right. So I'm going to just use my tiny whisk. I love my tiny whisk so goddamn much. Yeah, and just, just, just break it up. You don't yeah. want to go crazy. Yeah. I can't see what you're doing yet. All I see is an egg in a cup. Okay. Well. Is that good? I can't tell yet. I ain't even seen you whisk it yet. Okay. Well, I'll just stand here for a couple seconds. and Probably. Although, if I move away, it won't. Yeah. It'll be fine. I'm just, I'm waiting for us to catch up. <laughs> the delay is a bit. Emotes, that's what they're called. Yes. I knew they weren't the same thing. All right. That's perfect. Cool. Perfect. If, yeah. If you have stopped, then stop. I have stopped for that's, a while now. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, you're holding up to the camera, so that yeah. seems to be perfect yeah you, you just want to break it up a little bit cool so and then in you could dump that in okay and then am i whisking this or just stirring it or i i tend to use a fork oh okay fork works i've really sent beast card on a rabbit hole of non-newtonian non-newtonian fluids oh no this is about liquid and dry measures oh yeah I did not, yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, so he said that although a liquid and a dry measure hold the same volume, the manner in which we measure dry versus wet ingredients differs. So they're not actually interchangeable. Yes, there's a, there's a scoop and, and level method, and then there's a spooning method when you're doing dry ingredients. Yeah, okay. I mean, I normally level. I just couldn't be bothered doing it two, three times, so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to use the jug. But that's good to know. I will keep that in mind for the future. So This recipe is extremely forgiving, so we're not oh good. crazy. So it's really right, so lumpy. I'm watching what you're doing, so it, it, you're good. You can quit. Okay, so just lumpy is fine? I, yeah, yeah, I know there's a delay, so you can stop. Okay, I've stopped. And then we add a cup of milk, right? All right, now this is where it gets interesting. Okay. So, I can't say it's a cup. So don't and put a cup in? I, I know you're going to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pour out a cup. If, if you want to measure it, you can. You can pour out a, a cup, and that's fine. I can't see what you've done so far. That's all right. I've poured out a cup, but I've set it aside so we can add it that's, slowly. Yeah, that's okay. And, and you, you're you going to need that whole cup. I can already tell you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so if you've got a cup poured, mm -hmm. let it catch up for a second if you will. Yeah, I will. Because I'm watching you pour milk right now. 
Awesome. Well, I put it down like ages ago. What feels like ages yeah. ago, but it's probably not actually. Yeah, I don't have any idea. You know, this is only 2022. You think somebody gets this crap together. Right. But then again, we do have sharks chewing on the cables, so that doesn't help. Do what? The cables <laughs> that run between Australia and America, um, sharks chew on them. The internet cables. I think this is what I was told. Somebody can prove me wrong if they like, but I was told sharks chew on the cables. Well, all right, we're going to take that. Um, <laughs> part of this is me, because, um, again, like I told you, we are somewhere between Hooterville and nobody's going to get that. Um, and but Bum Crack and, McGurk, yep. Yeah, so, okay, I can see you set your milk down. Um, you can pour that cup of milk in there, I can tell you right now, and you can start stirring. The whole cup? Oh, yeah, dump it in there. I know it's going to take a cup. Okay. Yeah, then, I, I guarantee it. And then stir it. The one thing about cornmeal yeah. in general is it's going to suck up liquid. Real fast. Oh, yeah. I can't see you stirring yet, so. I am, but it is sucking it up super fast. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to wait till I can see. I can see you stirring now. I'm going to wait till I can see what's going on. Yeah. It's like really... I think it's going to need more. This is not chowder. This is pastry before yeah, it's done. Right. Yeah. You go ahead. Okay. So you can go ahead and just grab your milk jug. Yeah. And uh, I can't see it yet, but, oh, yeah, I can see your clumpy. Yeah. Get your milk jug. Yep. And, and pour a little at a time. I can't, because you delay. Yes, I can swap um, the picture. No problem. That will help. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, swap your picture is great because I'm looking at the little one. Yeah, I forget about that. I'm sorry. Right. I just, I just feel about like people would want to see my face, but no, it's fine. Well, of um. course we do, but. <laughs> no, no, I get it. I should have thought of it before. I put in a bit. I don't think it's enough. It's still oh, more no, like. Pour, pour, pour some more milk back. Yeah. So one of these animals are sharks who are attracted to the magnetic streamer fields and tend to bite through the cables. In some areas of the world, equipment lost due to shark attacks on streamer cables is a serious problem in terms of time delays and economic loss for the operator. See? Sharks chew on the cables! Thank you, Beast Car. I'm liking this. This is great. Yeah, I still don't think this is enough. No, it's definitely not. I can tell you right now. I can see. <clears throat> okay, I'll put more milk in. Uh, yeah, pour some more. I, I saw that little bit you poured in there. Pour some more. <laughs> okay. I, can, I, I mean, it's the lake, but I can tell you right now. You got it's not enough. Yeah, it definitely I, wasn't, so I put more in. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll give it a second to catch up. So, I was I made pancakes. Yeah, not the yesterday, day before. I know, Beast Car is the MVP. I yeah. love that I ask and you answer. It's fantastic. You should come every week. This car is awesome with these answers. Man. I know. I am loving it. Yeah. It's nearly 4 a.m. My brain's exploded. <laughs> um, so anyway, I made pancakes the other day. And the way I love to make pancakes is... Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking, Mom. Um, the way that I make pancakes is it has two tablespoons of corn something in it. For years, I have made it with corn flour because I read cornmeal and went, yeah, that's corn flour, and I used corn flour. And I am now wondering if I've been fucking up my pancakes for years. So. I ain't never made a pancake with cornmeal. It I is so that. good. Well, with the corn flour, corn starch, it's really good. I'll have to try it with the cornmeal and get back to you. But it, like, it changes the flavor just the tiniest bit and makes it, like, richer. They're just, they're so good. I make them with corn, corn flour and cinnamon and sour milk, which I now know is not buttermilk, but it's fine. <laughs> but they're so good. I love my pancakes. So is this the right consistency or do I need more milk? This is like, I feel like this is more cookie dough than cake batter. No, you need more milk. Yeah. Okay. Because when I make, yeah, when I make cornbread, which is not this way, it's a lot runnier than this. Oh yes, it needs to be for sure more milk. I mean, it's definitely it, 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 it much more, much more liquid. Much more liquid. Okay. Woo. Okay, it's getting but I, but, runnier. But we're on a delay, and I cannot, I can't tell where you are. Yeah, that's all right. I'm still mixing. 
It's definitely runnier, but it wouldn't say cake. Oh, it's more like cake batter. I'll wait till you catch up and you can tell me. Yeah, I want to I wanna see where we are. I saw how much milk you poured in. You're doing a little better there. <laughs> it's that's still only, like... That's the only difficulty with this is just the slot. The delay. delay, yeah. But we're working around it. It's such an... Yeah. At the moment, it's such an interesting texture. Like, I'm just playing with it with my fork, not my... Like, I haven't stuck my hand in. But, like, it's not... It's not batter. It's like... Yeah, this will never be like a batter one, what you're used to. Yeah. And, but like, I the corn, the the cornbread that I normally make is, like, a cup... A cup of normal wheat flour, and then three quarters of a cup of corn flour. So it's very different. So mom's asking if we're estimating how much milk. Yeah. Um, I I would say probably we're getting close to two cups at this point. Probably, but yeah, I'm just we're just adding it till we have the right consistency, from what I can tell. I think we may have caught up, but if you stop. Because I'm trying to guesstimate how what the delay is. Yeah, I mean, I think it's at least ten seconds. I'm I'm gonna tell you something. Lift one finger up, and if you lift one finger up, Ben will know. I did it. Oh shoot, my 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 screen froze. <laughs> of course. So I, if you lifted up one finger, then my screen froze. Oh, if I had to estimate, yeah. Probably about two cups. I misread that. Sorry, Mom. I need a drink. Hold on. Oh, I think we're actually like, like live, live. Because you said I need a drink and then you just went away and now you're drinking. Are we, are we that caught up? Oh, yeah, we might be. Fingers up again. Oh, I see your fingers. Okay, I think Sweet. we're actually live, live. Nice. Delay is lessened for a bit. Are clo closer to being live. Yeah. The shark stopped oh, chewing well, on it. I said that, and then my screen froze again. <laughs> of course. Did you see the oh. consistency, though? Well, I'm, I need to, to stop. Um, okay. Um, this is similar to what I remember the chowder being like, but I don't know. I'm, okay. Can you, can you give it a stir? Mm-hmm. Okay, pick your fork up and let it drop off. Okay, I want the tiniest bit more milk. I mean, I, yeah. I want just the, the tiniest bit more milk. Yeah, I need a little more milk, just a little bit. A little bit more, just a little bit more. Okay, try that. Yeah. Give it a give it a good swift stir. Like get that milk in there. You, you can you can be like real aggressive. <laughs> yeah, that's looking better. Yeah. Is that good or does it need a bit more milk? I think we're we're still in that quite slight delay. Okay. Lift your fork up and let me see it fall off. Bit lumpy, but not. Lumpy's okay. Okay, yeah. So it's. I just want. I just want to see it fall off the fork. Definitely We're different. We're there. Cool. All We're right. There. Awesome. Um, what time yeah. is who? Who are you asking, Beast Car? Are you asking me or Mima? I'm sorry. Did I miss a chat? Oh, uh, they just asked what time it is for you. Uh, okay. three forty-six in the morning. Yeah, seven forty-six p.m. here. If you're, I don't know who you're asking. All right, so now we get the pan out of the oven? Uh, yes, so here's the thing. So some people will take the pan out, and they will tip a little bit of that hot grease into that batter and stir it. Okay. And that's how some people do it. I don't know why. I think it's to temper. Oh, There's okay. Egg there. There's egg and milk. I don't do that. It's okay. dangerous as hell. You will run the risk of pouring hot grease everywhere. It does sound some dangerous. People, some people might. Okay, but we're not going to. Hey, that's what you should do. Don't do that. Okay, I will I, not. It, it never made a difference. Now, one thing, one thing we did omit, and you, you might have seen a comment um, on the uh, uh, Facebook mm -hmm. um, post the other day. 
that I mentioned, I wasn't going to tell y'all put sugar in this. Yeah. Okay, so that was my aunt. Uh, okay. My aunt, I, my aunt and I had this battle. Uh, yeah, about she sugar. Always, she always puts a tablespoon of sugar. <laughs> okay. Now, some people make sweet cornbread. Mm -hmm. And there are mixes that you can buy. I'm, let, I, I'm intentionally talking because I'm going to let that set up a little bit. Okay. It's, it's all right to let it set there just a little bit to kind of tighten. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, again, that, that cornmeal is absorbent. Yeah. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, there are some mixes you can buy that are sweetened. Mm -hmm. And some people like sweet cornbread. I'll tell you right now, sugar don't belong in cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the cornbread I normally make has three tablespoons of sugar in it. No, okay, okay. people like sweet cornbread. That's the craziest crap I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> okay. Corn, cornbread, sh cornbread should be savory. Okay. It, it, it should be, to me, it's uh, uh, it's bread. Okay, and, yeah. And it, it, I, it's just not meant to be sweet bread because, let me, I eat cornbread with beans, mm -hmm. like pepper beans, uh, what we call navy beans, uh, white beans. Uh, and and collard greens. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all if y'all anybody that I'm talking to because you probably you might have heard of collard greens um, or turnip greens, the tops of turnips. Um, I feel like I know the term. I'm not entirely sure what we when, would call it. Well, when you cook greens like that, uh, we cook them all day. Okay. And we we dip them. We dip the cornbread in, in the juice, what we call pot liquor. Oh. And that that the the juice that the greens have cooked in, we like to we call it pot liquor. That is gold. That okay. Is, that's the that's the best. Nice. You ain't dipping no sweet piece of cake. That's basically what sweet cornbread is. You don't want to put cake in that. Yeah, fair you enough. Know, you want the good salty, you know, savory cornbread in that. Mm -hmm. So especially in your beans, because I mean, the, like if I make cornbread, um, and I want to cut it in, like my mama especially will put cornbread in a bowl, mm -hmm. pour hot beans over the top of it, and eat that with a raw onion. Oh, yeah. So the, last, the last thing you want it's is sweet. that cornbread is sweet. Yeah. So I eat my cornbread, to answer Kriana's question, I put it in a bowl, and then I dump chili on it. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Yum. Yeah. My homemade chili, which has dark chocolate in it, and is delicious. Oh, see, you're the smartest girl in the world. Let me tell you something. I'm making chili. That's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Oh. My, my friend is out. Yeah. And that is my secret ingredient, mm -hmm. dark, dark cocoa powder. Same. The funniest thing is I got the recipe from BBC, which is a British cup, like group uh, telling me traditional chili recipes. But it is so good with the dark chocolate in it, like so good. All right. Well, it's BC funny. They just ran a um, – I just saw a thing on Facebook. Um, I mm -hmm. forget. I don't remember what source it was. Um, but it was uh, do this to your chili, mm -hmm. and it's like you know the see this 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 secret ingredient will elevate your chili. Well, I started laughing because I knew exactly what they were fixing to say. Yep. And I said I've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. um, but but no no lie that one tablespoon in my chili of, of well, I use Hershey's because I'm an American. Yeah. Um, they're you know to me it's good chocolate, but but they're dark chocolate cocoa powder. Yeah. And okay. I'm, yeah, I use and, and you chips. Know, if you do it, you know, it will. It, it elevates. It does. Tomatoes. It, it like does something with those tomatoes. I don't know what. I don't either, but you can taste the difference. Like it, like deepens the flavor. It is so good. So it reacts good. with the, uh, it somehow. Uh, it it does something too with yeah, the cumin. It does. That just, it, yeah, God, it it. Uh, and it's worth I'm it. Looking forward to the chili. <laughs> good. Um, anyway, anyway, all right, so. Uh, anyway, I was going back to the whole thing about the sugar. Mm -hmm. Some people will put one tablespoon of sugar, like my aunt, because she says it will darken the crust. Oh, yeah. And, okay. And, 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 and that makes sense. Caramelize. I have been making this cornbread for, God, more than 25 years, and I have never put sugar in it. Okay. And it's not needed it. I lie. I lie. I have put it in a couple times. I've never noticed a difference. Okay. Well, that's I'm good to know. Where this recipe came from. Mm -hmm. This recipe is my aunt's recipe. Okay. She taught this recipe to me when mm -hmm. I was a kid. I have, I, I committed it to memory. I've never, I, 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 when I sent this recipe to you, I didn't look it up. I, I just typed it out. 
because yeah. I know it. This is, again, this is a muscle memory thing. I've been cooking it so long. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what we were laughing about, you know, when I said, no, mm-hmm. we're not putting the table, because we, we, we fought about this. Uh-huh. We're putting the tablespoon of sugar. Because my <laughs> Uncle Ben will say, you know, the, 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 we have another family member who does not put sugar in it. He will swear the cornbread's different. Okay. You know, when, I make, when I've made cornbread for them, it ain't got sugar in it. Mm-hmm. It ain't said a word. <laughs> yep. Never said a word, but he right. knows. He knows that the other family member does not put the sugar in it, and he swears there's a difference. Ah, but he doesn't know about you. Nice. All right, well, that proves it to me that we don't need the sugar. It ain't necessary. All right. So, Mom has asked if you ever add canned corn to your cornbread. Apparent, apparently. I don't because okay. I'm just a traditional person. I have eaten uh, cornbread that has canned corn, and some people will put uh, chili peppers, jalapenos, things like that in it. We call it Mex- Mexican cornbread. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, I, and I like it. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'll, I'll eat it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm just not a... Uh, it's just not cornbread. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I just prefer this traditional... Okay. I, I like I like uh, some things I will play with, but mm-hmm. some things are, to me are meant to be unadulterated, and this yeah. is one of them. Fair enough. I mean, jalapeno and corn cornbread does sound good, but I also just like my cornbread cornbread. So, but I've not had it this yeah. way, so I'm keen to see if it tastes different. Well, get you a, a oven mitt and grab that skillet. It's gonna be hot. Yeah. Uh, before, before you do that, do you have a uh, silicone spatula? Yes. Um, I had it out. You're, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna want that. Yeah. I, I know, I, and you know why you're gonna want that. You're gonna want to scrape that bowl. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. That's why I headed out to begin with. So my mom says that her mom from Minnesota put sugars in her, but my grandma Blue, which is my dad's mom who lived in Kentucky, said never add sugar. That's cake, not bread. <laughs> that's, that's what she exactly would say. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a. All the Yankees put sugar in, and that's cake. And my grandma was the best baker I know, so. I'm gonna go with you guys, the experts. Now that ought to be. Ah, no! Google, shut up! What? Hold on. It's time for bed. It's time for bed. Sleep well. (laughs) Okay, Google. Stop. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> Google. All right, I'm all right, ready, so I'm pouring this in. Dump it in quick. Dump it in quick, all at once. Dump okay. it in quick, and I can't tell if it's if where you are because it's delayed, so I can't tell if it's going to fry. Yeah, it's frying. Oh, it's frying. That's good. That's a good sound. I can hear the sound. Yeah. Don't spread it out. Just dump it in. Yeah. Let it, let it spread itself. So I've dumped it oh, and not oh, touched I, it. I can see it, and it looks does. All right, that so back in the oven exactly now? Exactly what you want. That frying is exactly what you want. Put it back in the oven quick. All right. Yeah, I know. Google interrupts me every time. Silly Google. It'll spread itself out. Okay. It looks like it might be a little scant. I can um, see the edges frying. It, like, looks amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah. so <laughs> to explain, we have an alarm set so Google tells my children to go to bed. Uh, when it's bedtime. Because they listen to Google more than they listen to me. So Google says, good night, Alexander and Anastasia. It's uh, time for bed. I and then I don't know how hot your, your, your oven is, um, how true to temp it is, but you want to set your timer for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, all right. Yeah, I don't know what my recipe says. but It did say uh, 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, 20 to 30 minutes, something like that. Because I don't know everybody's oven. Yeah, my oven's pretty good. Um, but we'll see. We'll set a timer. Yeah, so I mean, at least 20 minutes, then we'll go and check it. Although, I'm going to swap to countertop, because we're not doing anything on the stove now. So I'll put the timer on the countertop one. Um, countdown. There we go. So that says 15. We'll change it to 20. Ooh. Start. Nice. So 20 minutes. Cool. Now, when that comes out, oh, fuck, that's hot. Yep. You, you're gonna want to have a plate, and you're gonna want to have a case knife, uh, um, a butter knife. I'm sorry. Okay, I was gonna ask you. I was like, your your thing says case knife, and I have no idea what that means. So I just assumed I, that a butter knife would work. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. We call them, and not everybody. Um, I grew up here in Case Knife. Um, Case is a brand. Oh, okay. They, they make pocket knives. They make every kind of knife. Yeah. But, but, but we call them Case Knives. Um, uh, I know there's a reason, and, and if it weren't what time it was, I could tell you. Um, but That's all right. if y'all want to, if y'all want to know why we, some people in the South call butter knives case knives, you've got this little crazy machine called Google. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, but I grew up hearing them called butter knives, called case knives, my whole life. Okay. Well, I don't know. Probably it wasn't long after my husband and I met, and we were in the kitchen, mm-hmm. and uh, I said, "Hey, hand me a case knife out of the door." Uh-huh. He looked at me like I had 40 heads. <laughs> and he, he said, a what? And I said, I, I need a case knife. He said, what the hell is a case knife? <laughs> and I, he's, from, he's from Pennsylvania. And I said, I need a butter knife. <laughs> he said, oh, okay. So he hands me a butter knife. And you know, I was like, what do y'all call them? He's like, a knife. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> For future reference, when I ask you for a case knife, that's what I want. Now, we go back and forth with these, you know, things that I say. Yeah. I, I don't think they're odd. But, you know, like, <gasps> if, if the weather's nice in the afternoon, like, it might, might not have looked so pretty in the morning. And, you know, by afternoon, it's it's a good day weather-wise. And I, I said to him one day, it turned off nice today. And he goes, what turned off nice? And he goes, he's like, I don't understand. I said, <laughs> The weather it turned off nice he goes what does that mean turned off nice yeah i was just wondering I said, I said well it cleared up i mean it was it was looking bad this morning like it you know was cloudy whatever it was cold whatever. but it's turned off nice it's warmed up and the sun's come out nice and he says oh my god he's like this the way y'all talk <laughs> and then you know um i might say something to him like um uh to think of something i say reckon all the time yeah you know, like i reckon i reckon mm-hmm. he'll say it, 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 it took him about it, about six months for him to start on do you <laughs> and nice. now that's a, that's become a big joke yeah you know, i like every that time i say i say do you okay <laughs> so you know that's us but I, I i say all this to say that um we are making a very um uh southern thing here so you know to me the southernisms are important yeah um, I like it, and I like learning things, so I'm oh, happy sure. to learn about a case knife, but I just wasn't this sure if I had one. <laughs> well, I laughed. So, anyway, so you want a plate, you want a case knife, and there's a reason for that, because yeah. when, when this is done, you're going to take that knife, you're going to pull that out, you're not leaving it in the pan. Some people will leave it in the pan, and they'll cut it in the pan. You'll ruin that crust. Okay, yeah. what it'll do is that pan will stay hot, but it will steam. Yeah, and make crust. it soggy. You have worked so hard. Yeah. For that crust. So what you want to do is you're going to run your knife around the edge, mm-hmm. especially in a, new, in a new pan like this, and you, you're going to hope like hell it releases. Um, <gasps> but it, it's good. But you're mm-hmm. going to run it around the edge just to make sure, and, and it should be a little loose in there. Mm-hmm. But you're going to take a plate, and you're going to invert it on top of this yeah. screaming hot cast iron skillet. <gasps> yes, yeah, so I was wondering gone. about that. So is the oil going to be gone? Because, like... There was still yeah. a lot of oil in there. It should have, it should suck it all up. Okay, cool. Now there might be. Well, I noticed when you poured it in there, it looked like we might be a little scant on, on batter. Okay. Um, it 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 didn't quite run to Fill the up. edge. Now now it sh- it should as it's baking. Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't quite tell. I think you said you had a nine inch pan. I think so. I think yeah, mine's ten. Um, but. It, it looked like we we're going to be all right, but there might be a little oil because I, I'm not there. I can't tell yeah. exactly how much oil was in that pan. Yeah. It looked like enough. It didn't look like too much. Okay. It's kind of hard for me to gauge because I, you know, I couldn't see it. That's the that's the issue with this. This is one of yeah. those things that hard to say. say. There is a recipe. Yeah. But but it's hard to gauge, especially especially like what I've found converting recipes from the states to here um this doesn't have butter in it but it probably works similarly um like the temperature difference is huge but the the 
Although I don't know what the distance from the ocean is for Georgia. Anyway, just the difference in temperature and the difference in altitude made such a difference to our baking that our recipes were really hard to actually make here. We struggled so hard when we first ma came here to make the same things we'd made in the States easy. So it's hard to I never thought about tell. elevation. What, what is your sea level? Sea, what oh, I don't know off the top of my head, but I know it's different from Minnesota. Let me look it up. I was going to say, I'm going to turn my phone on and try to figure out what mine is, because we're not huge in elevation. We, we have a coast, so. I'm 31 meters. Apparently. Oh, Lord, I don't know what that is in feet. Hold on, let me look in feet. <laughs> Baby, they tried to put us on the metric system in the 70s. It didn't work. I just told me 31 meters again. <laughs> okay, 31 meters to feet. Let's see. I'm trying to turn my cell phone back on. A hundred and one point seven meters. That's the wrong button. What am I doing? Yeah, climate makes a huge difference, but elevation does as well. Um, oh, Mama's wishing she could see me. Let me yeah. tell you something, Mama. You're real sweet, but no, you don't wish you could see me right now. <laughs> yeah, you're still I'm, like in bed, aren't you? Yeah, well, I've never. I'm, I'm, I'm in my office. Um, oh, okay. I'm trying, try not to wake the rest of my house up. Yeah, fair. But uh, I bet you I got. Um, a nest for hair and uh i'm i'm wearing golden girls pajamas i mean and, uh, now i want to see this <laughs> well i mean and and a ratty t-shirt and uh <laughs> yeah no i'm not meant for public consumption right that's now, but fair enough sweet <laughs> so beast car i have never heard of a doe skin have you me a doe skin a plaid jacket apparently you have Yes. I mean, I, well, I know what, well, I mean, I read what he said. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I said he. I, I said they. This car was the he. I don't know. They. What else? You can correct okay, us. So. He, they, what are your pronouns, Beast Car? And yeah. no, I don't think either of us had heard of a doe skin. Oh, jeez. Um, Four hours is a long time. He. Okay. Um, where are you from? What, why is it called a doe skin? And why did your cake not bake in four hours? Was your oven on? Nevada's in the mountains. Yes, but still, four hours is a long time. And we had well, that I whole mean, conversation I, before I, I, about... I could understand that. I mean, Nevada really is in, there in the mountains. I mean, no, it's desert. There is a valley there, but they're at a higher elevation. Yeah, yeah, and I think you were in the mountains, weren't you, Mom? The delay is frustrating sometimes. I ask a question and then I go, I'll just wait like five minutes for anyone to answer me. What did you say your um, elevation was where you are? 101 feet, I think. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm 700. Well, uh, let me say this. Google tells me that Atlanta is 1,050 feet above sea level. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so significantly different. Well, let's see how this cornbread turns out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to find out. We're about halfway through. I'm just going to check it. Like, not open the uh, oven. I'm just going to look through yeah, the door. Yeah, please, please don't open the oven. Turn your light on. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's not filling in the whole pan. I don't think it's going to. Um, it might. But we'll see. Well, we're going to find out. Yeah, I mean, Like I said, exactly. it looked a little scant. I wasn't yeah. sure what would happen. But again, like, it's strange how the difference in elevation and climate like changes the recipes so we'll we'll see we'll see if it's different i never even considered that you would be anything other we didn't either till we moved here and we're like why are the fuck are our cookies not baking right it's frustrating hmm. yeah I, I never i never considered we might should have talked about that so well we so hey, wait for it to bake let's make oobla well that's gonna come back here in a minute because if that does not feel if it does not spread yeah it's going to cook quicker well not necessarily okay we, we definitely want to check it but what that means is you ask would it suck up some of that oil it won't um, it won't okay so what you'll want to do is probably have you something to, to, to tip, tip it in because um, what you don't want to do is put that plate on top yeah well that's what i was worried about if i put a plate on it and then tipped it over that the oil was just gonna go <laughs> we don't yeah, want that nor, nor, normally you don't have that issue. yeah so we'll have to tip it into so, something yeah you may need you may need to a little bit of, of that 
So I don't know exactly the ratio, so we're just gonna slowly add water. But to make oobleck, you just take corn flour or corn starch. Just rinsing the milk out of my dad, hold on. Now where is mama? She is in the same state as us, Victoria. Um, but in a no, she's in a small country town about five hours away from me. I'm sorry, I mean to say that Mama's in Australia. Yes, yes. So I moved over with my parents. Yeah, I, well, I remember you saying that, but, but, you know, Mama was talking and I thought, well, did Mama go come back or did Mama stay with No, I think both my, both my parents are still here. Um, yeah, and I have a sister, two sisters here, and a brother That's and right. a sister still in the States. I think you mentioned you and Mama go into the American store. Yeah, we did. She came, she drove down, and we went together. I remember that now. Yeah, that's where I got my cornmeal, for anyone who didn't know. 1.5 to 2 parts corn flour to 2 parts water. Yeah, I get, yeah, it really, it's just a feel thing. I can already feel the bits. I think this isn't going to be enough water. Um, See, you, you already knew how to make cornbread, because it's a feel thing. Yeah, well, this is <laughs> oobleck, but yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this isn't... You didn't need me. You making something that's basically just like making cornbread. But I didn't know what chowder felt like. <laughs> I well, still wasn't sure there at the end if I had done it right, so I'm glad you were here. Biggest problem it with looked, baking here... Yeah, the no shortening thing, honestly, is hard. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I don't... I'm not a fan of shortening. No, I use I butter exclusively now, but... Yeah, I don't use shortening. The only thing I use shortening on usually is... I grease potatoes before I bake them. Oh, Yeah. With so shortening. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just make up the water as I go along, Kriana. Because um, you can tell when you've done it right. So this is maybe a little shy on the corn flour. I'll put a little bit more in. I love oobleck. So much. My kids love oobleck, too. And you can put, like, food coloring in it to make it colors, but... Then it just dyes your hand, and it's not any funner. It's just a different color. So, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. This is pretty much perfect. When I stir it, it's like a liquid, yeah? But when I stab it, oh, not enough corn flour. Didn't work. Hold on. I can feel it when I stir it, but you're probably not going to be able to see it unless it's right. Right. Yeah, it's definitely better. Stir slowly. Ooh, it's not going to work. So, <clears throat> liquid. Unless I pull on it. Like I can make a ball of oobleck. It's not showing it very well on camera. You really have to feel it. <laughs> I probably said funner. I say funner all the time. Yeah. I use... I use butter over shortening as well as kaffa, but I hate kaffa. Kaffa is just gross. But yeah, so it's really hard to demonstrate it, but if I punch this, oh, you can kind of see how it sticks to my fingers. If I hit it, it becomes hard. Um, not like rock hard. <coughs> Sorry. But like a solid. So I really wish I could show you this. But I'm not going to be able to. But it's fun. I highly recommend you make it. And you just add, what did Kriana say? Two parts corn flour to one part water. And you can tell when it's ready because it's like gloppy. But if you're not putting pressure on it, it will just run through your fingers. <clears throat> but if you put pressure on it, you can like pull it and it becomes like a solid... Thing. Your mama's in this chat room, so I'm not going to tell you what that looks like. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, though. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh yeah. my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to play with, though. Like, it feels really cool. And I don't know if you can tell, but it, like, clings to my fingers when I push them in and pull them out. Especially if I do it fast. Oh, that's a good way to show you. So if I put my fingers in and pull it out really fast, uh, you can't really see. My fingers get stuck, I swear. <laughs> You're it's, not helping. No, I know. 
<laughs> but I promise it's so fun to play with. No, kinetic sand, sand just like sticks together. This is genuinely strange. You need to go and make it right now if you've never made it. Like, it is bizarre and amazing and it feels so cool. Yeah, Mima is hilarious. You should have told- maybe I should just say that sour milk and buttermilk are the same thing and we can see how he reacts. Uh, I don't think we want to revisit that. <laughs> it was so funny though. Your response had me pissing myself for like an hour. <laughs> it was great. It was really funny. Oh, sour milk and buttermilk. So sour milk is where you take a tablespoon of vinegar and you put it in a cup of milk and it will do <clears throat> supposedly what buttermilk does but i've been told i'm wrong about that <laughs> so you, you can think whatever you want to but <laughs> I, I okay i really gotta tip this out or i'm just gonna play with this the entire evening um i'll tell you right now people are allowed to be wrong yeah that's true <laughs> i've learned i've learned the error of my ways all right well thank Bye. you so much for joining us beast car um i oh. hope you have a Great sleep. Bye. Bye. It was nice to have you here. Um, yeah. Why is Mama on the floor? I was, falling and can't get up? I was literally just about to say that. I'm like, what are you doing on the floor? Do you need assistance? I'm five hours away, so <laughs> it's going to take a minute. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for, for joining us, Beast Car, and hopefully we see you around again soon. And if you follow me, it will tell you when I'm live if you're interested, but... Oh, laying flooring. That is different. Yeah. Oh, laying a floor. At 9 o'clock, at 8 o'clock at night, woman, what are you doing? I mean, I know what you're doing, but what are you doing? There's oobleck all over my counter. I fucking love oobleck. You also just had a whole bunch of southern come out of your mouth. <laughs> Did I? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I told you it would happen, and I don't mean to, but it just happened. Yeah, because you just said, what are you doing? Oh, that does happen often, yeah. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I very, I actually sound more Southern more often than I sound Minnesotan. I really lost the ope and yeah, you betcha, and sorry about that. I mean, I apologize well, for everything, but. No, what's funny is um, you run a motel when I do. When do I have time, time to do it? Oh, when, okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I knew what you were doing, but like, stop that. Go to bed, woman. <laughs> but don't wait, watch my stream wait, and then go to bed. What time is it for you? Wait, wait, okay, we're 16, so. 8 p.m. So it's 4, so it's not 9 o'clock, okay? 8, no, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, glad we're serenading you to sleep. I would sing a song, but I'm not allowed to. Plus, that might not help you sleep. I don't know. All right, a minute left. I should check it. Not yeah, open it. Just look. Turn the light on. This is see what's. Can you take a camera? Yes, I can take a camera. A oh, rock and roll. All right. I might. Hey, I, I'm gonna make a little noise. Sit around. I don't like the way yeah. it's here, so I'm sorry. That's fine. Do what you gotta do. I got, well, I won't be able to hear you for a second. That's fine. Um. No, I don't know what's wrong. All right. Okay. Take this camera. Hello? Alright. So, if you need me to open the door, let me know. But that's what it looks like through the door. I'm back now. I'm back now. Say again? I didn't hear you. That's what it looks like through the door. Can you see it? Oh, no. Oh. Okay, uh, no, I can't see it. Sorry. Do you want me to open the door? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been, well, you got like a minute. You can open the door. It's all right to do that. I don't know if you can hear me, but you can open the door. I did you, I did. Did you see it? Not yet. No. Ah. All right, well. Is it brown on top? I can't tell. Not, it's, it's starting to brown. I wouldn't say it's browned. Okay. Oh, well, thanks we'll for the follow, Beast Car. Do you want I me to try again? The... But I, I didn't feel like you could see it very well, so. Yeah, I could because the lot was glaring. Yeah, that was what I was thinking as well. I can try again. Um, uh, set your timer for about 
maybe three to four more minutes. Three minutes, yeah. Because when I looked at it, I was like, it's not it's not brown on top. I don't think it's ready. But you know, yeah. so three. I, I, I could see that we were definitely scant on batter. Yeah. It was definitely, it doesn't, hasn't filled the full, the full pan. Yeah. Um, yeah but the, the, the sides look amazing. So I'm, I'm yeah. excited. What'll, what'll happen is you, your bottom's probably done. Yeah. Um, but the top's the top, just not brown yet. Top needs probably just a couple more minutes. Yeah, no, I do, I do need to. Um, oh, you didn't follow us. Sorry. Yeah. Um, have you been here? I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I don't have commands set up. If someone could explain to me how to set up commands, I will do that. I've set up a few, but I don't think I did them right. Okay, so set the timer for four minutes. It's really hard to see that timer. I'm going to move it. I can see it. You can see it? Yeah, it's quiet, but I can see it. <clears throat> Oh, now, when you put your head behind it, it's really easy to see. <laughs> yeah, but that helps. I'll put it in the black bit so that it's more <clears throat> visible. <coughs> oh, must be smoke in here or something. Why, why you wait? You might want to get you a plate. Thank you, Rolly Wheelie, for following me. And, yeah, I'm sorry about there not being that command. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Have you been here before? Have you been here for a while? I don't know. Oh, well, there you go. Thanks for coming back. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to get the plate. Ah. Well, we got 34 followers. You'd think I would remember them all, but I don't. But I'm so glad you joined me. It was nice having you back. And that was fun when I was raided by... I remember getting ra raided by Amlu. That was cool. That was my first stream. So you've been here from the start. We're going to tip the oil into this. My heart just broke a little because I was like rinsing the oobleck out and I was like, but I could have still played with that. But I can always make more. It's fine. It's fine, Liz. Stop mourning the oobleck. <sighs> All right, we're so close to being done. One minute and 30 seconds. Yes, Beast Car was great for conversation. It was really fantastic having you here. Just saying. Got all the answers. My sushi is still sitting there going, you should eat me. But no. No, not right now. It's like the longest three minutes of my whole life. I'm so that's, that's, excited. That's a, a dinner plate, ain't it? Yes, I don't have a, not a round. I could, do I need a bigger plate? No, I'm just asking. That's a dinner size plate, right? Like a yeah. Like a the, dinner. Okay, that'd the be nice. biggest dinner plate I have. Yeah, that's that's what you want. If we go any bigger, just, it will be a tray. Per perspective is hard. Yeah, it is. Yep. So, but I mean, I, that's what I meant was you know, when you get a plate, just just a dinner plate. Yeah, I did. Um, most of those were about ten inches, and that's about what you want. Yeah, I have I have I have two sizes of dinner plates, um, and this is the bigger size. Uh, yeah. So it's not fish, ma. Um, it's chicken, so it's fine. I don't eat... Wait. I know it's not technically sushi. I don't like raw fish. So I don't... I guess I don't technically eat sushi. It's crispy chicken sushi. It's delicious. See? Can you see? And Jet, honestly... Sushi is just a pickled ginger delivery mechanism for me. Although, I had the best sushi ever. Again, it probably wasn't technically sushi, but it was like breaded sweet potato in like a tempeh, or not a tempeh, no, breaded tempeh maybe. I don't know. It was vegan and it was delicious. <sighs> Katsu sushi. Yeah, basically. I'm so excited. I have not eaten since 11 a.m. Oh, thank you, timer. I'm really bad at remembering the timer. All right. I'm going to take the phone over again so you can see. Yeah, see I think you could probably take it out. I just, You're I'm okay? sorry, I took my headset off for a minute because if you believe it, it is March the 12th. It has been warm, 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 but we are getting snow at this moment. Really? Jeez. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, it's definitely brown now. I'm going to take it out. 
Yeah, it's probably done. But you're getting snow in Georgia. Snow. Yeah, we sure are. Wow. Yeah, we're supposed to get about two inches of snow. That sounds like madness. It I do not miss the degrees. snow. It was 60 degrees to, uh, Friday, or, you know, just this past day. Wow. And it's snowing. So, yeah, cold Grief. front came through. Let me see the top of that. Yeah, so it's definitely... Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's it's browner than it was, for sure. Yeah, tip a little bit better oil out of that, in that bowl. Yeah, I'm going to have to, because it's actually a lot of oil. A lot. I can, yeah. I can tell it's going to be. Yep, so... You might, you might want to hold the bread, because it might tip on you. Yeah, I think I'm going to enlist nerd, Nerb Durger. Switch the camera. Can do. Nerb Durger! Can you help me? With? I need to pour hot oil into this bowl and not dump out the cornbread. And it's 220 degrees. So I just need you to make sure the cornbread doesn't fall out. Um. Put a hand on it. Put a fork on it. Put a spatula on it. Anything. I have asbestos fingertips. <laughs> I rock and roll. All right. Oh, good lord. Yeah, that did suck. That, that is a lot of oil. We, we put a lot in there, didn't we? We might have. <laughs> All right, it's hard, so. It's hard, hard for me to tell. I don't think I'm going to need to run the case knife around the edge. No, you won't. Because uh, cause the edge isn't really it's touching a bit on this edge, but not anywhere else. But what so. you want to do is, yep. is lightly run your knife just under it, just a little bit. Just loosen it. Yeah. And just loosen the bottom. It's definitely a bit I'm, stuck. I'm sorry? It definitely feels a bit stuck to the bottom. It, it probably is. It's a brand new pan. Yeah. And it was in there for a minute. And it, it's starting it, it to come stick. up now. It, it's possible it's going to stick because it's a brand new pan. First oh, no, it's coming up. Good. Yeah, but it's yeah. come off now. And yeah. you lose a little of the crust. It's possible. No, nah, we're good. Why you, that's why you run it. Just to, yeah, you see, you see, you're doing it right. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now, yeah. take that, take, because you, you won't even have to put the plate on top, uh, get you a spatula. Yeah, and just flip it out. Just flip it out, flip it upside down. Yeah, I, I, I figured Dad was going to stress about the, um, the oil, which is why I got Joel to help me and I didn't just... Normally, normally you don't have that issue. Yeah, I'm going to need um, two spatulas. All right. Oh, yeah, that, that came out good. She obviously seasoned that pan. Yeah, yo. And we had we had enough oil. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit greasy because of the oil, but it's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Flip it over. All right, two seconds. I'm gonna yeah, move yeah, the pan. Yeah. Okay, so flip it over. Yeah. Huh? Oh, ooh, it built, broke a little, but that's okay. And then you I said can't. stick a knife under it. Put a knife under. it. All the way to the center. Yeah. Oh, God, that's gorgeous. Yeah, it is really I beautiful. Saw, I just saw the bottom. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now, now, now tip, it, tip it up. Um, yes, that way it's lifted off the plate. Yeah. Because what you're, doing, what you're doing is keeping it from steaming. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that yeah. from the recipe. Don't want that to steam. Oh, no, you burnt your finger. Come back here and put it under cold water. What are you doing? Oh, Lord, who burned a finger? friend oh my goodness anyway cornbread are you gonna come eat the cornbread or do we have an injury he he touched the cornbread and burnt his finger a little but he'll be fine i think i don't know he disappeared but I, but I, I heard asbestos fingers i know right me too how's your finger <laughs> do you need to run it under cold water no. or you? okay so it's not that burned Okay, are you gonna try some cornbread? Hell yeah. Okay, good. All right, so you got some butter? We do have butter. Oh, you gonna want some butter. Oh, we're gonna use the real stuff today. Yes, oh. real butter. You can't have oh, margarine yeah. on cornbread. You just can't. So get you a sharp knife. Yup. And, and, and a couple little plates. Yeah, we got it's some plates. Gonna, it's, it's gonna crumble. All right, can I take the knife out, or does that need to stay no, in? No, 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 you leave that knife. Don't you never take that knife out. Like that. Okay, I will leave the knife. All right, yeah, and then you I can, just... You, you can cut on the other side, you know what? 
before you laugh at you. Yeah. Like, cut it like a cake? Is that what we're doing? Cut a wedge, start in the center, you know what I mean? Cut a, cut a wedge. We like, like you cutting a piece of pie. Yeah. And it should be nice and crunchy. It is crunchy. It is like a glorious and, sound. I don't know if and, you can hear and, that. And let me tell you something. Grab you a piece of the, the, the edge, the very edge. Mm-hmm. Just like, like, just tear you off a little piece of that edge. Ooh. That is so crunchy. There's a bit there if you want, like right there. So crunchy. Oh my god. That's what it's supposed to be. Mm. That's the best part. That that just when you tear off just a piece of that and all man get you hung of it. Seems like your style corn is because you like crunchy. Best all right. part of that. The, ah. the absolute best, my favorite part of that cornbread is that crunchy edge. Alright, so was it served upside down or should I flip them over? That I always serve it crust side up. Okay. I, I like that's that the crust. best bit. Is that is that done in the middle? It is. It's just broken. It falls apart. That's what it does. Yeah. That's why I said grab you a couple plates. It, it falls apart on its own. So I'm gonna flip yes, it back. Exactly. Over. Cool. It's warm. Yeah, that's that, for sure. It, it's very dry. Yeah. So should we? It's very dry. Oh, I have to flip yeah, it that's, over. That's how I serve it. Okay. It, it's a very dry bread. Yeah. Um, it's not meant to be. Moist. Moist. Well, that's why you put, like, chili on it. So put butter on it is what I'm hearing. And why, why you dip it in the, the, the bean juice or the pot liquor or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the greens. Or, um, and then, you know, I'll cut it like a piece of cake and put butter in the middle. Some people put butter on top of the crust. Some people, just however you want it. On top? But, like I said, I, I'll slice it like cake and put the butter in the middle. Yeah. Or, I was asking, I was asking Nerv Durger how he wanted it. People, Oh, yeah. Some people put it on top, just like that. Um, it don't matter. Um, I'm going to put mine in the middle. <laughs> How satisfying was that crunch, though, Kriana? But, but Mama says sopping bread, and she's exactly right. That's yeah. exactly what that's for. Mm-hmm. It's really good to soak up chili. Ah! Yes, it's delicious with chili. Now, I'm weird. I eat peanut butter sandwiches with my chili. No, I've had that, and that's good. It's like my favorite thing. Now I do eat cornbread with it, but mind but blown, it. yeah. <laughs> it's good with peanut butter sandwiches. I love it. We should do it next time. Now, of course, the middle part of that, you know, it's good. It's good cornbread, whatever. But so I'm gonna tell you edge. right now, that crust is just to me a solid gold. That's the best part. All right, I'm gonna try I the want... middle, and then I'm gonna try the crust. I can see that that crust. That's beautiful. It does look gorgeous. And the sound when I cut it was just so satisfying. Yes, yes that's what it's supposed to be. Mm. And it's, it's very crumbly. Mm hmm. That's, that's, but it's that's still crumbly. good. Like, that's really tasty. It's extremely dry. It's meant to be. Mm. It would be good with milk. Well, and remember, I told you. Tomorrow, yeah. When it's cold. Okay, I'm going to try some crust now. Crust is hard to break, but. That's just yeah, good. And it, oh god, that crust is my favorite thing in the whole world. Mm. So I'm it. I, I want, yeah. I don't, I use it on even in the middle of it. I eat crust off of it. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Mm. Okay, that crust is really good. It's the best. Mm -hmm. It's probably a little bit greasy. It may have a little bit too much oil in it, but you know, <laughs> I'm southern. I like that. Yeah, so I was gonna. I just made my normal cornbread, what, like three days ago? <clears throat> this is different. So the cornbread I normally make has more flour in it than corn flour. And I make it with corn flour. And it's spongy. It is spongy and it's not crumbly. It's more like cake mm. than bread. But this isn't even like bread. This is like. I'm not even sure. But this isn't... Yeah. This is just unique. Like, this is its own texture. Like That is traditional southern cornbread. It's good. Like, it's really good. I was a bit like... When you said no sugar, I was a bit like, oh, but I like sugar in my cornbread. But it doesn't need it. This is delicious. And, like, savory. 
And when we didn't put any salt in, I know the cornmeal has salt in it, but we didn't put any salt in it, and I was like, oh, is that going to be like, is it going to not be salty? Is it going to need salts? But it doesn't. It's like perfect. That is on its own just great. But when you put that with, like I say, like beans, mm -hmm. like beans. I, mean, I, I realize that this is a cultural thing and, and whatever, and, you know. But yeah, but I'm here that, for your culture, so hit me with that. That is absolutely, if you had a big pot of pinto beans, or like I said, like white beans, what we would call navy mm -hmm. beans, um, and you just poured like a big ladle full over a mm. bowl of cornbread, that's a meal, man. And like I said, we, we would eat that with a raw onion. Mm. Um, that's really so. good. Like, I was a bit worried that, like, like when I make my cornbread, if it doesn't have chili on it, I'm a bit like meh. I wouldn't, I would eat it by itself, but I put honey and butter on it. Um, but this, like, tastes, Joel is taking his plate. That's how much he likes it. He's going to finish it. Um, <clears throat> It tastes really, it doesn't taste corny, but it tastes like, it's got a lot of depth to it, more than just like a bread would. It's like, and the crust is amazing. Legitimately, you're right, it's the best part. It's the best part of it, yes. Yeah, and it's so it's crunchy. The it's... only reason to make cornbread. Now, my, 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 um, uh, she wasn't my grandmother, but she was my grandmother. That's the only way I could. She, she was my godmother. Mm -hmm. um, my aunt that I was speaking of earlier mm -hmm. is her mother, but she raised me as her, her as her grandchild. Mm -hmm. um, my family's weird, um, but uh, anyway, uh, she would make corn muffins. Yeah, um, and you know, just the same recipe, but in a muffin again. Um, okay. And we, she'd usually make those when she made chili, mm -hmm. or she'd make like vegetable soup. Um, yeah. And I loved her corn muffins. I have her corn muffin tin. Oh, yeah. Um, now, it is nothing more than a typical aluminum muffin tin. It ain't nothing to it. It's probably something she bought at the yard sale. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. I'm, I'm certain that's where she got it. But she had it for 150 years. It is so old. Mm -hmm. And it, it is, my God, it's been baked on so long, it, it's black. Wow, yeah. I mean, and, it, and it's, no lie, it's aluminum, but it is literally black. Wow. Um, and and I have it. She, she passed uh, five years ago. And um, that is the only thing, you know, just one of those things I said, I want that tin. Mm -hmm. I, want the, I want the cornbread tin. Mm -hmm. And everybody in my family knows I could. So that's, uh, up until the last couple of years, I cooked Thanksgiving for the family. Oh, yeah. And usually you know 15 to 20 people mm -hmm. um and and it was me mm. um, wow good job i did i did the cooking wow um and uh you know that's just my thing so we were talking uh, uh earlier i don't remember you you said something or posted something or you we might have been chatting and i don't remember exactly what we were saying but um and I read something from a friend, and whatever you said reminded me of something that I read that a friend posted. Mm -hmm. um, this, you were talking about um, the Southern cooking. How did I come to, to cook? Mm -hmm. I, or how did I start cooking? I think was what you had asked. Mm -hmm. um, and that was really, I don't think anybody, I mean, people did teach me to cook. It wasn't that, like, my other grandmothers and, um, of course, my, all of my, my grandparents are gone, mm -hmm. um, even the surrogate one. But um, nobody really taught me. It wasn't that. I watched. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would pay attention. I would ask. Mm -hmm. I would ask for recipes, especially as I got older. But I taught myself to cook. Oh, wow. My okay. Mom, my mama worked. Mm -hmm. um, and when, it, when I got a, up enough in age to stay home, um, by myself, you know, up, mm -hmm. up sometime uh, from school, uh, you know, probably 12 or so, um, Mama would leave me home. Um, I watched, you know, back then, you know, PBS, public mm -hmm. broadcasting here. You, you, you know what PBS is, I'm sure. You yeah. did move away, you know, 
No, I remember. So back then, before, you know, cooking shows were a thing, that's where you watched them. Mm Mm-hmm. And so, you know, they were still running old reruns of Julia Child. They were, you had people like, uh, 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 what was his show? Yan Can Cook. Uh, I can't think of his last name right now. Martin Yan. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, he was the, the Asian cook. And then you had, uh, oh, the guy's name was Jeff. He had a show called The Frugal Gourmet, Jeff Smith. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Uh, Anyway, the, the, there are these cooking shows, and I would watch them. I taught myself how to cook. Of course, I mean, I would watch my mama, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I, my mama cooked. Okay? Mm-hmm. When she'd come home from work, mama cooked dinner every night. Wow. The only night we ever, we ever ate out was um, was Friday nights. And mm-hmm. so, a lot of people may not know this. You know, people might, might be watching you or might be watching this later. Friday nights, Dallas television show. That was huge in America, huge. And so Friday nights, it was uh, Chinese food and Dallas. And so, so my mom and my stepdad would order out Chinese, and we would watch Dallas. Now, why in the hell they were letting their child watch a, a very adult nighttime drama, I don't know. <laughs> but that's what we did. And mm-hmm. so it's only, really the only time the, the, that we ever you know, ordered out. My mom and cook. Wow. I did. I did not know until I was a grown ass adult that I how lucky I was. Mm. That most most of my parents' friends did not do that. That their parents didn't do it. Yeah. They they didn't cook. Um, not like Mama did. And and at least one weekend morning, usually Sundays, mm-hmm. Mama Mama cooked breakfast. And when oh, I say yeah. Mama cooked breakfast, she cooked breakfast. It wasn't like she, you know, went in there and and you know fed us oatmeal. Or here, grab a bowl of cereal. Mama cooked biscuits. Oh yeah. Mama fried bacon. Mom or she do ham. Um, she whatever. I mean, but it was a full breakfast. Oh wow. Mhm. It was not. I mean, she didn't. It, it. Mama put out a spread. Mhm. And that's just what she did because that's what her mama did. Yeah. Her mama worked, which was an unusual thing. Mhm. Uh, back then, because my. My mom's mom died in 1978, and she, she worked. Um, she had not quite retired yet when, when she passed. Um, she was close. She was in her 50s. Mm-hmm. But um, she got up every morning, cooked her. She had three children, my mom, her two brothers, and then, of course, my grandfather. Mm-hmm. She cooked a full breakfast for them wow. every single morning. Wow. And then got on the bus and rode to Atlanta to go to work. I hand my that, children a box of up and go. Way. That was it. That was the, you know, the way it was done. So my mama learned to do that. And anyway, I, I learned my great grandparents were like that. You didn't leave their house hungry. Mm, mm-hmm. It, there was always food. Um, when I was a little kid, I stayed with my great grandparents. Um, it was sometime when I was, uh, you know, not in school, um, that's where I stayed. And, mm-hmm. um, pretty, pretty rural upbringing. But um, my great grandmother cooked all the time. Mm. I mean, I swear to God, I, I don't think they ever stopped cooking. <laughs> it just seemed like an all-day thing, mm. and there was always food. It just didn't matter. Whatever we didn't eat for breakfast, if there was biscuits left, they were set on the counter, or left on the table, and we ate them for lunch and whatever else they made. But I mean, I'm not talking that we ate a sandwich. I'm talking they cooked breakfast, and then for lunch we might have pork chops. Wow. I mean, that, that's something, you, you know, they cook. And then for supper, they cook again. Wow. Jeez. That sounds like so, so much work. <laughs> cooking, cooking is in my DNA. Yeah, absolutely. There's no getting around it. And so, um, and I have a big family and, and, a, and a, a big extended family on both sides of my, of my you know, my mom and dad, both sides. Mm-hmm. And my dad has passed, but um, and most of my dad's family has passed. Um, I don't all of his siblings are gone as well. Um, my grandmother, everybody. But um, uh, so his family, you know, I, what's left of them, I don't see much. But anyway, my point to the office is, is that we were talking, and then a friend the other day posted something about cooking, and someone commented that cooking was uh, their prayer. Oh that yeah, is, that is a gorgeous. I've, I've just now seen you hold that up, and it's just gorgeous. Um, it is beautiful. You did a fabulous job with that. 
Um, thank you. Uh, I'm Compliments proud of to the and, instructor. And I'm proud of it. Oh, thank um, you. It, like, and I, it was all you. I don't, well, I don't mean to get philosophical, but, but uh, I, what I mean to say, and I, and I will wrap this up, long story long. Um, I'm enjoying it. Well, cooking for me, and especially, and I, I tend to do it more so now in a time of need, um, for a friend or you know someone like that, if someone's passed or you know something's going on, somebody's sick, mm-hmm. and that's when I do my, my, most of my cooking these days. Um, yeah. And, and I, I'll cook for an army because you know I'm trying to feed a family that needs it. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a friend recently in the last year uh, lost her stepfather. They did a sign up for a meal train. Well, hell, nobody signed up for it. Yeah. I, I, I cooked for them probably five or six times in the week. Wow. You know, yeah. To this man dying. And, you know, but that to me is, um, it's a spiritual thing. Uh, I'm not a religious person, but uh, to me, that's, cooking is like praying. Yeah, I I totally agree. I'm in the kitchen. I'm I'm doing my thing, and I'm pouring everything I have of myself into what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And and, and I'm doing it for somebody. And Mm. there, to me, in my life, there is nothing no greater pleasure that I ever take than if I'm making food for somebody. And it doesn't matter what the, what the occasion is, why I'm doing it. Yep. But, but whether it's, you know, we're having a family gathering or, or I'm, I'm doing it because somebody needs it, whatever, it's why I do it. Yeah, that's exactly and why I cook too. Yep. It, it just, and that's, I've been doing it my whole life. It got to the point when I was a kid where I, I enjoy, got to enjoy it so much mama would come home from work and hell I would have baked a cake or I would have started supper. Oh that's adorable. <laughs> Something like that. And you know, it's just it. And yeah. What is your mama what did your mother says? Your mother says the southern way. Cooking is what you can give and if someone is in need, you give what you can that's exactly right. I don't have a lot of money. I mean and and that is sometimes I can't do anything other than feed somebody. That's where the nickname Meemaw came from. Yeah. I have a very close friend who co-worker but became a friend um and she she lost her son six months after graduated high school he was killed in a car accident honey i i took food to the funeral home yeah well i pull up, I pull up. that's what we do in the south we take food mm-hmm. i don't know why so i have no clue why we do it but we do i took food to the funeral home i pull up well here i man i baked the ham <laughs> I've, I've made green beans potatoes i mean i put out a spread there in the kitchen of the funeral home mm-hmm. um and we, I know the man that owns and runs the funeral home because we've had every funeral ever at this place for as long as I can remember. Mm-hmm. And um, he's a family friend of everybody, that most everybody I know. Anyway, uh, I pull up and my friend looks at me and goes, damn, me, <laughs> mm-hmm. It stuck. It stuck. That was 2017 in the fall. <laughs> the name stuck. Mm-hmm. I mean, it suits you. Well, it's from the little I know about you. Well, I busted out laughing. <laughs> and because I put the food out, well, then here, here I come with the bags of plates mm-hmm. and forks mm-hmm. and cups and drinks. You know, and, and they were like, okay, this is too funny. And I went, <laughs> well, who, who else stepped up? Yeah. If you were the only nobody, one that brought food. Nobody else did. Yeah. So, um. You know, it's just what you do. Like yeah. I said, it's- Fantastic. I'm the same, though. Like, I don't... I would prefer to have somebody come over to my house and I'll cook them dinner than, like, go out to eat. Um, oh, any day of the week. Yeah, I, I would love... I love cooking for people. I'm, yeah, happiest when I'm cooking for people. Um, I'm a social person, and I love entertaining. And, and we used to, before... Um, craziness descended on the world. Um, <laughs> Jimmy and I would do quarterly game nights. Oh, yeah. The same, the, 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 the same core group of people, you know, mm-hmm. about 10 or 15 people. Um, and and I tend to do the atomic housewife thing, and so I would tend to do um, a spread on my table of, you know, party mm-hmm. food. But it was the typical 50s and 60s. Like, I would do, um, uh, I would do my, my godmother's... Uh, shrimp mold yeah you know but in the jello mold the fish mold you know like yeah decorate it like a fish 
And, <laughs> I mean, the traditional 50s Samantha Stevens from Bewitched kind of thing you would expect. Mm-hmm. See, I, think, I see you eating that crust. I was hoping nobody noticed. <laughs> oh, no, honey, I'm watching you do it now, and I'm telling you, it's like crack. It's so good. I cannot stop. It's the <laughs> best part of it, I'm telling you. It is. I have that. Now, what you what you got right there in front of you, that is the basis for Southern dressing mm. at Thanksgiving. Now, we don't call it stuffing. Don't call it stuffing because we will smack you um, <laughs> in the South. That is, we, we make cornbread dressing for Thanksgiving to go with the turkey. Okay, that would be so good. Like this, that, yeah, mm, I can picture that. That is the basis for our oh. cornbread dressing. That would be so and good. Two cakes of cornbread. That's how that's what you started with. Mm. And you have, and, and now some people put a food processor. I mix it up. I break it up with my hands. So yeah. It's just like like coarse sand. Mm-hmm. And then that, that's the basis for it. And we make it, and then we re, we put. Uh, it's got chicken broth and uh, celery and onions and um, uh, the things that you would normally find in a stuffing mm-hmm. uh, poultry seasoning, butter. Uh, I put cream of chicken soup in mine. Uh, mm-hmm. And. Uh, Sounds so uh, good. Uh, it's delicious, and then but then you you get it soupy, mm-hmm. and then you rebake, you bake it again. Oh yeah. And it's, I'm telling you, you ain't lived till you had cornbread dressing. I mean, it sounds amazing. We might need to get you to come back, and we'll make that, but not at two a.m. for you. We'll do it a better time for you. Well, what's hysterical is that we'll see. It's almost five o'clock. About three hours, right? Yeah. It's <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh huh. I was gonna say we've turned a thirty minute um, thirty minute. Add a stretch recipe. <laughs> What's funny is that you woke me up, so I started talking. <laughs> getting, getting me to stop. Is the hard part. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Not because same. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at that cornbread, and I'm thinking, damn, I want some cornbread. <laughs> I'd give you some, but the sharks would probably chew on it on the way. Well, I, I typically work at home, um, except I go in about three to four days a month, and the days I have to go in, I get up at four. You so told like me that, that, and that sounds insane. Well, I, I, I don't have to be in until 8, but um, anybody that has ever been to Atlanta will tell you traffic is awful, and I live uh, 55 miles from Atlanta. Jeez. So, so it's a commute. I have to drive. So in order for me to be there, I'm usually an hour early if I leave at 5.30. Yeah. But I'd rather be an hour early to work. Than late. And, well, otherwise I would be late. Yeah. If, mm-hmm. I, if I left any later, I mean, God knows, I'd never, I mean, yep. I'd never get there. Anyway, none of that's important. Um, <laughs> it's so, interesting, uh, though. Well, I didn't go to bed until after 12. I'm sorry. And then I was up at, what, t- what time did I message you, 2? It was 2, yeah. Yeah, something like that, because I set an alarm. Yeah, it was It was 6 p.m. my time, so that would have been 2 your time. Yeah, I set an alarm and got up and messaged you and thought, well, I'm awake now, kind of. But now, now I am wide ass awake, so yeah, may as well have back. a coffee and get up, right? Just kidding. Well, go I'm, back to bed. I go back in there in the bedroom and try to go back to sleep. I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but this has been so amazing. Like this has been genuinely fantastic having you well, join I, me. I think you're funny, and I, for saying so, I don't think at all that I'm anything remotely special because we just made some cornbread. I think you're but, hilarious. Well, I appreciate you saying so, and. You were nice to invite me. And, um, thank, thank you so much for teaching me how to make the best goddamn cornbread I have ever eaten in my life. Like, I may finish One, this. I'm glad it turned out. It did. And I was thinking before, when you were talking about cornbread muffins, if instead of filling the pan, if you did drops in the oil, would you just get, like, chunks of, like, crust-level cornbread? Would that be... Amazing. You know, I, I ain't never tried it, but I imagine it might work that way. And Kriana, you are so sweet. Thank you. Kriana I'm sorry, is lovely. I, just, I, f- I keep forgetting there's a chat here. Yeah, um, it's, it's, yeah, it can be hard to remember. <laughs> lovely people, and your mama, too, and, and, but people are saying nice things, and I appreciate that. You really um, are a lovely person, I, though. I don't know. I've never tried that. You should. Well, I'm going to. I, you're adorable for saying so, and I appreciate it. I, I, compliments mm. are hard. Um, yeah, I feel that. Uh, yeah, so um, you and I have had a little conversation about, you know. We me. did. Um, but uh, to answer the question, 
that would kind of go back to the hoe cake thing, or as your mama calls it, Johnny the cakes. Johnny cakes, the Johnny cakes, yeah. Yeah. You know, people make what they call hot water cornbread, and it is done on top of the stove. Okay. Um, um, and you could Google that and um, to learn a little more about it. Um, oh, well, I don't know. I'm sorry you're recovering from surgery, but I'm glad you're doing better. I'm, if, if this was, Listen, honey, if this was entertainment for you to relax, well, you suffered the heart. But <laughs> I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't mean... <laughs> I don't mean from Liz. I mean from me. If I was entertainment. You genuinely have been, honestly. What? <laughs> well, you, know, like, you are very interesting to talk to. I was, oh, Lord. We got to find her something to do. Um, <laughs> maybe kid color book. Cause <laughs> child. Anyway. Um, but... Uh, but like I said, people make hot water cornbread on top of stuff, and that's kind of the same type of thing. Um, but when now, it gets I had, crispy, I had a great aunt um, that <coughs> would make what she called cornbread cigars. And you talked about putting—I know the name's stupid—but you talked about putting corn in them. She would put whole kernel corn in it, and she made the same thing we just made, mm. but she would make it a little thicker. Okay. It had it had whole kernel corn. And she would roll it out. Um, oh, yeah. So I said a little thicker, a lot thicker. She'd roll it out into like, like you think little rolls of Play-Doh. She, that's why she called them cigars. Because yeah. that's what they look like. And she would fry them on top of the stove just like that. Okay, kinda like yeah. Kind of like a hush puppy. Yeah. You know, what a, you know what a hush puppy is. I've heard of it. I don't think I've ever eaten one, but I know of it. Well, them. you know, they serve them at seafood restaurants here. That's that's the thing. It's... Um, uh, Oh, my Lord. Your mama says, we've gone back to Grandma's kitchen. I hear Mom's voice in my head listening to this chat. Well, I know, okay, right? That's a, that is a compliment. And yeah. I'll, I will own that one all day long. <laughs> but I, so. um, but I know exactly what she means. You do remind me a lot of my grandma. Well, if a 40... I'm not quite 46. I keep saying that. i got a couple months. But if a 46-year-old gay man can make you sound... Like, remind you of, of your grandmama, then fine. <laughs> um, mm. my, my work my work here is done uh, <laughs> you've officially earned your title of Mimo and we should probably uh, let you go to bed <laughs> my granny would be very pleased um, I think all, all of my grandmothers in my life would be pleased oh. um, but uh, anyway yeah, I know you're probably like get the hell off here I got fake sushi set up here um, anyway <laughs> no honestly I'm enjoying this but I am like worried about you <laughs> oh, I, listen, I'm fine. Can you not tell I'm punchy as hell? I can, uh, but that's worrying. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I, I promise you I'm all right. Okay, um, good. Uh, listen, <laughs> have you ever seen the movie Coal Miner's Daughter? No. Well, you should, because okay. it's my favorite movie in the whole wide world. Um, and and uh, while Patsy Klein is my favorite singer, Loretta is a close second. But uh, there's, a, there's a line in that movie... Um, where she says something about uh, uh, her husband said, you sure got over being bashful fast? She goes, I don't know. I just opened my mouth and started talking. <laughs> Did, didn't have any more notion what I was going to say than a rabbit. Mm-hmm. And he said, well, keep being a rabbit. You know, <laughs> that's me. I just talk. I just I talk, talk, talk all the time. <laughs> um, well, my, hus- my husband says he, he doesn't understand it. He said, he said, sometimes you don't even know what the hell you're talking about. You just talk. <laughs> yeah, that's me most streams. I'm not gonna lie. I just stand here like rabbiting on and going, I don't know what I'm going on about, but it's fine. <laughs> but this has been great, like learning a bit about how you learn to cook and like making oh, the best cornbread. Listen, your mother <laughs> just says that your grandmother grew up two hollers over from Loretta Lynn. Really? I didn't know that. So appar- apparently, um, your grandmother lived near Butcher Holler. That's Maybe. Where Loretta Lynn's from in Kentucky. She was definitely from Kentucky. <clears throat> I know that she grew That's up in hysterical. a really rural area, and I, I don't actually know much about my grandma's like upbringing except that she had a lot of siblings, and her dad was a preacher, and they had a goat that took offense of people at people like kneeling down and would headbutt them if they were kneeling, and they had a very small house, so the preacher would have like his constituents or whatever over. And they'd be kneeling to pray in the front yard. So my grandma would let the goat out. 
<laughs> yeah. On purpose? Uh-huh. On purpose. <laughs> okay, I love this woman. Yeah, I, I love her as well. She's amazing. She because, was amazing. Listen, I'm fixing to be ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna be ugly. And this is gonna be real tacky. But if I found somebody praying in my yard, I'd let the head button go down too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> But no, she was amazing. She was just, she was so funny. My, most of my memories about her are just laughing so hard. She no, was Sally, hilarious. She says, Salyersville. Okay, so, uh, okay, your mama just said hill folk. Okay, I like your mama. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty cool, my mama. Well, I don't know why I said mama. Said I never call her mama. <laughs> she just said hill folk, so she talks like me. That's good. Um, Sometimes. <laughs> What are you doing? So let's now? see. So, so Loretta was from, uh, really from Van Leer. That's the town. Um, but uh, I guess uh, paint schools over that area. I'm trying to figure out if I know where Salyersville is. I've been up in that area. I have some friends from Eastern Kentucky. Okay. Um, but um, closer down to Tennessee, though. Um, but but generally the same area. Um, beautiful country. Anyway. Mm. Um, God, that cornbread looks good. <laughs> it really is. I'm really struggling to not just cut the crust off and just, like, eat my way around it. Honey, cut the crust off. I told you that's the best part. I things. did twice already. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. I, just, I oh, good. it. I just roll it off. I just I do it at right. the bottom. And I just, I take it from the side and I just kind of roll it off. And that's what I eat. Nice. I mean, oh, I okay. genuinely, that is... All I want to do that's is right. eat this. That's right, Pank's full. That's right, Pank. She says, you're Pank's full. About 30 miles, but that's right. Oh, I um, didn't know that. Yeah, that's where the, there's another singer. Um, Patty Love is the country singer. I'm a big country music nut. Uh, Patty Love is Loretta Lynn's cousin. She's from uh, Pikeville, I believe. Okay. Um, anyway, that don't mean nothing. I'm just talking to your mama right now. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> but, uh, see, you're doing it right. Mm. You do just did what I do. Mm-hmm. It's just so took good. that side off. It's so now, good. Now, t- t- tomorrow when that's cool, I say tomorrow, even later today, I don't what time is it? Five o'clock, nine o'clock? Nine o'clock, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, if that cooled off, you put that in a glass of, like, real buttermilk. I bought some. Yeah. I specifically oh, bought some. God, crumple it up in, some, in a glass and pour just some, some buttermilk on that. And... Gonna. Eat that with a spoon. I'm telling you. All right, I'm good. That, that is what old time Southern people would have done because they didn't have nothing, and they didn't have nothing to eat. Oh yeah. And that's a treat. I'm telling you, that cornbread buttermilk is a treat. Now, I'm gonna try it for have, sure. Have you had buttermilk? No, I've never. My ex husband really liked it, <clears throat> um, so he would drink it, but I never did. <laughs> buttermilk is thick. And it has a tang. Yep. I mean, it certainly had very a distinct flavor, which is what I make my biscuits with. Now, some people will make cornbread with buttermilk. Mm, well, I, I like, well, I do sour milk, but yeah, I make my normal cornbread with buttermilk. I prefer to make it with sweet milk like you did. Um, yeah. You know, now the, the cornmeal that I buy, that white lily that, that brand I prefer, I, I usually will buy the buttermilk version of it. Oh, okay. Um, but, you know, it's just the flavor. Um, but, Anyhow, my, my point is, that cornbread buttermilk, you'll die. The best <laughs> I'm going to try it, and then I probably will message you and be like, this is the <coughs> best thing I've ever eaten. Well, now, it is an acquired taste, so, <coughs> so if, you, if you don't like it, feel free to say, okay, you're crazy. Well, like, my dad it. was a bit like, I don't know if you'll like the cornbread the southern style way because it's it's very different from what we make, and I was like, I don't know, I, I'll see, I'll try it, I'll see what how it goes, and I... I fucking love this. Like, this is oh, delicious. God, it's the best thing in the whole world to me. <laughs> it really that is. right there is, that's comfort food, baby. Mm-hmm. It is. Like, it's just really, like, rich and... Well, it's because it sucked up a whole lot of grease. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's good. Know. Like, yeah, so good. Your, you've had your cholesterol for the month. Yeah, um, I know. I know. I don't need any more. <laughs> but uh, if you, uh, uh, can you get a hold of dry pinto beans? I, I don't know think like so. Are there. pinto beans the same thing as cannellini or butter beans? 
I have. Cannellini beans and not, but butter beans. Um, butter beans would work too. I love butter beans. What about like lima, lima beans? beans? I have lima beans. Yeah, lima beans would work. It's not quite the same thing, but lima beans and butter beans are similar. Okay. Uh, I can look. Says there's not any, mama says there's no pinto beans. Anymore. Oh, that's sad. Um, but you could do this with butter beans. Or okay. Beans. Like, what do, you, what do you have in your hand there? Does that lima beans. That, okay, that would work. I mean, it won't be the same flavor. Um, uh, even in your American store, you don't have a can of pinto beans like like uh, like Lux or anything like that. Mama, was, Mama's going to ask this question. Did I she know? is, yeah. <laughs> um, I I've never looked for pinto beans. Um, I put pinto beans in my chili. Oh yeah, I see. Um, I put butter beans in my chili. And well, I put the, red beans, black beans, and butter beans. See, some people. Well, now let me tell you that cornbread would be good with black beans too. Hmm. Um, oh, see, Dad says cornbread with buttermilk for breakfast. See, but he knows. Yeah, well, his mom was um, the one from Kentucky, so. With, with soup beans for lunch. And, and see, he knows. It's soup beans. See, he knows what soup beans are. Okay, well, I'll have to get him to make it for me sometime. Or you can send me a recipe um, and I'll make <laughs> But if you can get a hold of some beans, mm-hmm. um, make this again. Yeah. Put, put this in a bowl and put you some beans on it. I and, will. Uh, I really want I to try it with beans. I don't know what kind of onions y'all gonna have over there. Brown um, ones? Red, red would be... We have red you button. Want, you want a yellow one. <clears throat> it says I can get pinto beans at Woolworths, Mom. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you can get organic ones. But not they're oh, not dried. They're like in a can. Uh, that's alright. If they, if they come in a can and they're organic, who cares? I don't know if they're gonna taste like but... They also have something There's... called borlotti bur- bur- beans. I don't know if that's the same. I ain't never heard of that. Um, there's a brand here called Lux. Oh, yeah. Oh, your mama's coming in July. Yeah, yeah. Both my, I think both of you are going back for Grandpa's birthday. He's turning a big number, 90 maybe. <sighs> yeah. So where are they going? I don't know. Minnesota, probably. <laughs> Oh, yeah, bacon would work in salt pork, but bacon's fine. Okay, so is it like, is it like the canned beans that we would eat, Mom? Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Baked beans, that's the word. Is it that, or is it different? No, definitely not baked beans. Okay. But baked beans would be fine. I mean, there is a side of corn They don't, mm-mm. So they don't sell, they sell, they sell baked beans here. It is not the same. They are gross and disappointing. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, so... I, I make my own baked beans, so... So does right. my mom, because we can't get them here. <laughs> yeah. But, see, but I use pinto beans for that. Yeah, so I can get pinto beans from um, the grocery store, so I'll get some, and if you tell me how to make it, I will make it, and I well, will I mean, eat you it. you won't have to do nothing if you get canned pinto beans, but open up and eat them. But your mom was talking about bringing back dried pintos, and if she can get yeah. some dried pintos and some bacon, you, you get some good stuff. Yeah, that does sound amazing. I'm very excited for her to do that. She's definitely doing that, right? Because what you want is that juice from the beans that have cooked. Mm-hmm. And dump, just dip it out like a soup and dump it all over that cornbread. Oh, that does sound amazing, honestly. And beans ball, are I'm like... Telling you, it's, oh, my God. Uh, yes, please. I would yourself. like Grandma's soup bean recipe. Thank you so oh, much. See, that would be good. Yeah. With, with soup sure thank you so much for joining us Kriana it was so lovely to have you back I hope you feel better soon from your surgery um and yeah just thank you so much it was lovely having you I've missed you hey nice to talk to you Kriana yes it was lovely <sighs> well well I'm very curious that your mom is coming back to the states in July um I, I wish she'd be closer to me um but uh I don't know. Are you going near Georgia, Mom? Doesn't, um, John? Uncle John? Uncle John? Uncle John. Live near there? Stretching my brain a bit. He moves around a lot, though, so maybe he doesn't. I don't know. I wonder, I wonder if they get in a direct flight, because, you know, um. Oh, Kentucky. 
<clears throat> that to gris visit grizzit visit grandma's tree North Carolina I knew it was over there I'm only about uh, depending on where North Carolina I'm uh, just a couple hours from the Carolina border well if they go to North Carolina I will let you know and y'all can meet up and oh I would kill to meet your mama she sounds marvelous <laughs> she she is marvelous it would be fun Oh, and Aunt Pudge, yeah. I don't know if I ever met her. You have an Aunt Pudge? Apparently. <laughs> Probably a great Aunt Pudge, but yeah. Okay, that's funny. I need to know what the name, where the name Pudge comes from. I do need to know as well. You don't know? No. <laughs> she had 13 brothers and sisters. Oh, um, my, grandmother, my grandmother was one of 14, I understand. Yeah. So, and like her name... We called her Grandma Blue, but her name was not Blue. And every one of her siblings had, like, a nickname. I don't remember why she was Blue. There was a reason. She had a sibling they called Snake, I think. Oh, Lord, y'all sound like my people. <laughs> I mean, um, so, oh, because she was a pudgy kid. Her real name is Minnie Pearl. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> what the hell? That seems cruel, honestly. <laughs> That's funny. Well, not the pudgy part, but the fact that her name was Minnie Pearl. Yeah. It's a very, very different from Pudge. <laughs> Considering that Minnie Pearl's name was not Minnie Pearl. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was a stage name. But well, there you that's go. Funny. That's funny. <laughs> um, that's, that's, you talk about the nicknames. I have, uh, well, most of them are gone now, but I have some cousins. Mm -hmm. uh, second cousins. Uh, Bucky, Claude. Ace, and they had a sister named Sue. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Bucky. lying. And Sue, that's amazing. Um, had a, <clears throat> she always had a leather belt with her name tooled into it. So oh, nice, honey. We talk about hick. I mean, just not even redneck, just hick, just <laughs> flat out. I mean, mm -hmm. as country. I mean, oh my God, Grandma's first nickname was Snake. Oh uh, yes, that's where the snake snakes. came from. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Mm, I get you. I knew there was somebody was called Snake or something. That's hysterical. Who's right, Anne? Well, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> that's so funny. That. Well, let me tell you, Bucky, Claw, Dace, and Sue. I'm pretty sure they. That part of the family tree. I think it had a branch that didn't fork. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, but I love the like as a as a as a clump of names. Bucky, Claude, Ace, and Sue is fantastic. That's a band name yeah. right there. I feel. I don't. I don't know what is wrong. That that side of the family is funny <laughs> because um, uh, I remember was it? Uh, it was Uncle Glenn. Was my great uncle, Uncle Glenn. Um, my aunt told my uncle, um, it's my mama's brother and, and his wife. Um, mm -hmm. My aunt said, your Uncle Glenn died. Ben said, well, okay, when's the funeral? She told him. He goes, he's standing in the front of the funeral home. He ain't been there long. He ain't even got into the room where the body's at. He's talking to uh, Jim, one of the brothers, the Glenn's brother. And he was standing there and a couple other people. And he looked up. Door opened. He looked up. In walked Uncle Glenn. And he said, he just stood there. <laughs> and he, he, Glenn walked over, talked to him. How you doing? You know, they, they talked. Ben said, well, okay. Ben went in the room. And the casket was not Uncle Glenn, of course. It was the other brother. I forget. I can't think of his name. Mom, <laughs> so he goes home. My aunt says, how was it? I don't know why she didn't go with him. There was something happening anyway. He said, well, Uncle Glenn's doing fine. <laughs> she said, what are you talking about? He said, Uncle Glenn's not dead. <laughs> she says, what are you talking about? You just went to the funeral home. Well, it's not Uncle Glenn that died. She said, well, I swear that, you know, that's... Uh -huh. no, it wasn't Uncle Glenn. She got it all. Discombobulated. She doesn't know the people. 
she wasn't concerned about. You know what I mean? It, that was not on her radar. Mm-hmm. Somebody called her. One of, one of Ben's uncles died. He went to the funeral. Mm-hmm. She just got it confused, which I'm going to That's my family. But that's the part that Paul and Bucky Ace Sue all belong to, was that part. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> at, at Uncle Glenn's, you know, wake, and mm-hmm. there just comes Uncle Glenn at the door. Um, that would have been hilarious. That's that's how my family operates anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, he did, my, my uncle did not have a very good relationship with his daddy. And when my grandfather was sick and we knew he was dying, um, Mama was obviously a little occupied. And she knows that, you know, her brother and her dad did not speak. Mm-hmm. So she asked me to call. So I called my aunt and I said, you know, hey, I need to talk to you. She goes, can I call you back? She goes, I've got somebody at the house. I said, yeah, no problem. She didn't call me back. Oh. I, well, I wasn't worried about it. You know, I knew what the situation was. I knew they didn't talk. I mean, it wasn't any real big deal to me. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. A little while went by. Several hours. And she called me. She goes, why in the hell did you not tell me what you were calling about? I mean. And she found out. She found out at that point. Yeah. And I said, because you told me you're going to call me back. She goes, that's something that you should have stopped me and told me. I said, no, you're a grown-ass adult. You told me you were going to call me back. Yeah. You had to, you were doing something. Mm-hmm. You were busy. And I said, what, what, what difference would it have made? Were you going to drop everything and rush to the hospital? Well, of yeah. course, was Ben. I said, because I've been at the hospital, I ain't seen it. Mm-hmm. And she says, well, no, I reckon not. So, you know, that's my family. Yeah. And here I am telling all my dirty laundry. I'm certain she's probably going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just end it with, I love you. <laughs> oh, no, she knows. She knows. Okay. <laughs> um, she, she knows that. She also knows they're crazy as hell. Yeah, fair enough. Hmm. I'm so fairly I'm certain we have some crazy family. In fact, I'm, child. I'm, well, we absolutely do. <laughs> we 100% do. So I don't think there's anybody in the world that don't have crazy family. What is that's that thing said? Uh, that's that thing. Uh, there was a. Are you familiar with Designing Women television show? No. Oh, well, you should watch that too. That's okay, I have a list from you of things list. to watch. Yeah, yes. Uh, that The character, the, one of the main characters, um, very funny, very strong woman, uh, Julia Sugarbaker said to the, to the there's an old crazy bitty woman on there said uh, we don't ask if you have crazy people in your family we ask what side they're on <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. I like yes. that <laughs> because, it, because it's true mm-hmm. so we don't hide them up in the attic we bring them down <laughs> right out we offer them something to drink I mean that's so. just polite right <laughs> Nice. I like it. Well, it anyway. is past 9 p.m. here. Yes, I know. I've been talking your head off. And, and no, I've, I've been really this. enjoying it, but I am tired now. <laughs> well, go eat. And, and see, you've been eating at that cornbread like a mouse does, like I do. Uh-huh. I'm probably not going to even eat my sushi because I've filled up on cornbread. It's too delicious. <laughs> well, that's what I do to it. You, you, you sit there. I'm not kidding. You like a little mouse. That's how I eat it. Yep. And it looks like somebody's gnawed on it. Um, yep, it does. <laughs> but it's so good. Well, so I'm good. glad you enjoyed it, and, and thank you for doing this. And one day we'll do this again with my biscuits. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, please, let's do this again. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for waking up in the middle of the night and chatting to me and teaching me how to make cornbread. It has been fantastic, and I absolutely want to do this again. Um, well, we will, but we got to get you some white lily flour. Yeah. Oh, well, Mom can bring it back with her. Okay, well, that is an absolute must for the biscuits. It's the one okay. thing I will not, I won't budge on because there is a, uh, white lily is a very specific uh, winter wheat. Flour. Okay. Interesting. And there's a reason that a biscuit won't turn out. Okay. Well, Take we will get some. Go up north and order a biscuit if that's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't, it, it ain't going to be the same thing. Mm. All right, well, Mom, that is your job. Pinto, Dried pinto beans and white lily flour, okay? 
And we will do this again for sure. Oh, I would love it. So, awesome well. sauce. <clears throat> Thank you so well, much for I joining me. It was so lovely to have you, and I'm going to let you try to go to bed. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it again. Enjoy. Thank you so much. This cornbread is great. I'll talk to you soon. Right, Bye, thanks, everybody. Bye. -bye.